Yeah, so like that was another Amazon special yeah. surprise. Yeah. Um. So last last time we played in the most wisest set of decisions that you guys seem to have a uh, pension to do, you split the party <laughs> into <laughs> again into chaotic and good. <laughs> <laughs> chaotic and sane. <laughs> And two of you went back to the Blue Water Inn. And that's where we're you know, start our cut scenes at the Blue Water Inn. And you might recall that I indicated that um, it was deserted. Mm -hmm. um, you let yourselves in, because you've been given an access key. And your rooms are upstairs, of course. Mm -hmm. That's right, because I'm a bird dude. Yeah. Now, when we left, you were downstairs. Um, and I think that's all that we had occurred. Is that everyone's recollection? Um, didn't I? I thought we were all going to bed. Yeah, yeah, because I kind of forced the guy to make a meal and then we went to bed. Oh, so you're upstairs in bed? Yep. Yeah. Right, even uh Did Aaron go with you guys, or is he with us? He's, he's, he's with us. He's with us. Okay. And we still had the um, psycho flank mm. thing. So I you can talk, can talk, talk to, to yourself. myself. Yes. <laughs> or to me. <laughs> <laughs> Who's also there. Right, so... That's, um, that's cool. Um, leave your minis there. That's um, cool. Just, um, well, actually, take your minis off. I'll just leave them there, as if you're in bed. And mm -hmm. that's fine. Um, and uh, we'll now um, go to our churchy friends, and I think you were all in bed as well. Yes. Yeah. Before we continue, I might grab a ice cube. That's right. Does anyone want one? Um, yeah, I'll grab a glass of ice cube too. Oh, right. Glass just here. Oh, sorry. There you go. Oh, I might as well grab a glass if you're out there. Yeah. Oh, okay, so cool. that's projecting up there. Let's oh. see. And that's projecting down there. Excellent. So, <laughs> I was wondering what was going on, so I'm going to stop mirroring. Is it the one you just um, put Yep. Oh, cool. Put the other one in there. Project the shows Yeah, no, I'll just re-plug it in. Okay, that's... Okay, that's better. And then... Now... I'll do this. Um, So that's that's displaying there, yeah. Uh, that's got the um, uh, vintage uh, vineyards. Yeah, that's exactly the, oh. it's exactly the same. As yes. That. <clears throat> right. Thanks. Although on the map, has everyone got the map? It's so much more smoky than I was expecting. The Freud. No, oh, so they can be done. Uh, but you know, both both ILAs, both PT. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should be, I so, just is that called Valaki by Night? Is Valaki by Night? Yes. It's got like, yeah. I've got people, people sneak around here from behind their house. <laughs> and that's the vineyards. Now it's the vineyard. Yep. Uh, what was the server for? Is that not still working now? Okay. Mm hmm. I'm saying. What's on here? I am not. 
now you DM screens back to the vineyards. Back to the vineyard. There we go. And is that the vineyard? Nope. No, that's, that's that. that. Whoa! <laughs> we have mission success. Okay. Right. Okay. I'll work out what's going on with the map a little later. Um, now, because I've been a little naughty. It looks like you've got the temple on the map at the moment. Yeah, if we just move the map, I've, I've got the yeah, church right. on there. Oh. Uh, wow, yeah, I can smell that. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are down there. Just make that. Is that about the right size? Yep, lock that. Cool. Okay. Okay, cool. So, you guys are down here. Mm -hmm. Irina is up here. Father Lucian has just said goodnight to you and is now um, departing. bed chambers now okay um, how did you guys want to do the sleeping arrangements so Irina's in that bed there's a double bed and as everything else that you can see is per the map so I'll think we'll just stand in the corner well that's um, handy isn't it <laughs> Sorry. You guys get the double bed, and then who's bed? Oh, nice. Overseas. Brings back old times. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's um, I've stuck that earlier. Plank in the corner. Were we concerned at all that our now Vasily was going to visit the church? He mentioned that he would. If this was even Vasily, he seemed a different man from that that we first met. Um, I mean, he might do. There might be all sorts of things that visit the place in the night. But we we can do a watch rotor. Should I? Should we? Perhaps stay in in the room before Irina's roll out the figure. I mean, we can try, but I get the feeling that. Um, the priest want, didn't want us to be in the same room as her. He kept ushering us out. <laughs> I will lay my bedroll down in the first room that is adjacent to hers, and, so we can okay. hear better if anything goes wrong. So you're going to move over there? Yeah, I'm going to um, try and lay down the bedroll up here so that you can hear if there's any commotions going on through the night. Hopefully. Wasn't that where father... So that's, um, was? That's, the main... that's the next room to her? Yes. And you, there's a big wall, but there's also a door and a sitting room inside the room. Yeah, you could, could, could go in the sitting room if you really yeah. What, in the sitting room there? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was originally. Okay. Sorry, yeah. yeah. I might just lay the bedroll down in there. All right. Clank will come and stand in the corner there with you as well in that case. Father Lucian approaches and says, uh, Gentlemen, gentlemen, what, uh, your sleeping quarters are down this way. And he points to the door. You've just come out. And it says, uh, is there some concern? We had an encounter with someone tonight who said that they would visit here. Uh, however, unless you have had any other visitors here, we anticipate maybe perhaps tonight there may be more arrivals. Who was visiting and whom were they visiting? Are you suggesting they were visiting uh, Lady Arena. To be frank, it was Lord Vasily uh, Von Holtz. Uh, oh, Lord Von Holtz, indeed. However, we have met him before and he did not seem to be the same man as when we first met him. I see. Has he uh, transformed in some way? Uh, what, what do you mean? I, I know Lord Van Holtz. He is a very esteemed character around town. It's warm. It may just be my first impressions. He was rather cold, and yet this time he rushes into battle to save us. Well, bless it. Also, but, uh, yet I'm uh, 
I'm disheartened to hear that uh, you did not uh, manage to rescue the bones. Do you know what happened to the bones? We're pretty sure that Vasily stole them. <coughs> this is oh. our suspicion, yes. Then surely uh, Lord Van Holtz will return them tomorrow on the morn. No, because he claimed not to have them. Oh, so someone else has stolen them? No, we think Vasily has stolen them and he's refusing You say, them. machine man, you think. Yes. Do you indeed think? Clearly. <laughs> Is this the time to discuss philosophy? <laughs> or are you just a product of a large language model? <laughs> <laughs> it is always a good I'm time not hallucinating. <laughs> <laughs> I say, and he turns to you, Nick. I say, um, you are a fellow, uh, you know, devotee to a higher power. Um, what is your take on uh, this uh, this thing's uh, assessment? Point to clank. I believe it to hold some merit. We have suspicions. We have not been able to confirm them, but hence is our caution as to we are uh, we have Irina under our charge, and we shall see her safely on to into meeting the um the Baron. Oh, I see the Baron. That's mm. the Baron, right? Mm. Right. Um. Until such time. I can't remember what it was called. Sorry? I, I can't, I, I, that's just like, I can't remember what it was called. Like, yeah, he was a baron, baron, right? Yeah, the leader of the town. Yeah. 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 It's called the Baron. I've probably got it in the notes somewhere. Baron Vargas? Episode. Yes, so well, Baron Vargas is the leader of Valaki and uh, he has done a reasonable job, I should say. We uh, have not seen a hide or tail of, or horn or fang of him uh, for some time. And yet there were vampire spawn near in the town tonight. Vampire spawn? Yes. In the coffin shop where the bones were taken. Oh, this does not forbode well. <laughs> Hence our call. I shall call upon <laughs> Baron Vargas tomorrow and inform him of this. Uh, evolution of events um i see i you, you do intend to stay out here you're not going to uh, accompany lady arena too closely are you you are so of the cloth this was never my intention i, I assure you my colleagues have and you small man you're referring to Aaron now you you seem a little um out of sort um, could I suggest that maybe you leave your two colleagues uh, <laughs> to look after Lady uh, Arena and uh, perhaps you could take the rather large bed, which clearly you'll have plenty of room for. Uh, I think uh, the, the safer option would be to accompany everyone in the room, just so that There's we some. can protect Lady Arena, just if anything does occur. Um, and you guys have Arena, don't you? Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. She's in the box of the You know what we need? Oh, we need... Aaron. Where's Clank? I'm gonna get... He's here. I'm gonna get, like, a super hot Aaron, and you are gonna paint her. I'm oh, not Aaron. <laughs> super hot Irina. <laughs> <Marina. laughs> I'll do it. Dave will turn up next issue and be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Dave, Dave you. when you're watching the YouTube, don't panic. That's okay. It was, a, news. It you was a mistake. <laughs> I think you're now Tom oh, Cruise. <laughs> Brad Pitt, George Clooney, whichever one choose. <laughs> um, no, super hot Irina. Yeah. So that she's like not with a sword. Mm. I've got a, um, I've got a set. Uh, I just ordered and got it um, a set of um, townsfolk. So I'll have a look at that. edition. Mm. <laughs> Surely there'll be like a slave layer STL or something you can download. Mm. Kind of like Princess Leia. Like, <laughs> episode four, she was all fine, and then like, and you know. Well, not yet four, and then in eight, like she's like you know, totally tardy. So, you know, so <laughs> the evolution of uh, Irina. Um, so yeah, so Father Lucian suggests um, that uh, that Aaron, uh, you know, perhaps take residence in the uh, the rather exuvia, the, uh, the executive suite of uh, the church. Indeed, I should say, um, the hour is quite late. Um, perhaps. Uh, Perhaps we can talk about these matters in the morn. 
Um, but I, I must inquire. Um, you, you say that you are confident, perhaps, that um, Lord, this, Lord Von Holtz has taken the bones. Can, can I ask that you please uh, recant, uh, or not recant, recount, or recant that uh, slander, but uh, recount, because uh, I have uh, had nothing but fantastic interactions with Lord Vasily. I've dined at his uh, residence, indeed. Although he is often lacking attending in church, which is something I should bring up with him at times. Often or never? Hmm. And he, he pauses and he thinks. Oh, no, no, no not never. No. He has, of course, attended as an upstanding citizen of the town. Surely you would have invited this upstanding citizen of the town into the church. When was the last time he was here? All are welcome, he says. And, and um, he, he turns and sort of looks at, looks at Clank and... Um, um, what did it say? <laughs> <laughs> Father, we know nothing of for certain. We have our suspicions and this is a... Well, I can, I can assure you that uh, Lord Van Holtz uh, is uh is been nothing but a benefactor both to this church and uh and to uh to this town um clearly his business takes him across the land of Barovia. but uh when he is here he is nothing but a gentleman and uh, and a pleasure to interact with and um yes i i look forward to his next uh, attendance of at, uh prayers um, I'm sure it will, you know, perhaps even be soon if he is in town. Can I do an insight check? Mm-hmm. What are you insighting check? How about, how about I, you, I'll tell you what type of check you're doing, but okay. what do you want to do? I'm, I just want to gauge whether or not he believes what he's telling us. Hmm. Could you do an insight check? <laughs> <laughs> right, where's the insight on that? Come on, roll some real dice. Yeah, I will. Good. He's just got to figure out his bonus. Oh, wait, it's Aaron. Oh, Aaron, aren't I? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That one. Oh, you're doing it as Aaron? Yep. Okay, can you sit in the other chair when you're being Aaron? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You need like Aaron, a little, a little, a little weird chair. <laughs> yeah. All right, inside to plus one. Oh, 19. No. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Have you got the psychic connection on speakerphone? Uh, he has. Oh, a, he has a connection to, to, yeah, to me and to well himself. <laughs> Did you see the pic of uh, Lillian Cobb? I can't remember no. if I showed it to everybody. We had um, Duncan and Rachel over for uh, dinner the other weekend. Oh, and um, yeah, Lily, Lily made best friends. You want to see? Yeah, check it. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. But they basically were inseparable all night. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Kong loved it. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, it would have been stoked, days. Eh? Someone's just constantly petting me. <laughs> How'd um, Ruby go? Uh, she wasn't wild about the whole thing, but she, you know, <laughs> pretty sure everyone. this will never been have one. been in the church. He's trying to... Are no. you... No, this is Darren telling you. Oh, yeah, are you doing oh, psychic, yeah, psychic whispers or not? Psychic or whatever, yeah. So... So what... Uh, I, should, I shouldn't ask because I'm not involved in the conversation. <laughs> Pretty sure he has never been in the church, however, he's tr really trying to emphasize that it's a safe thing. So, I think we should just play along. We know what we know and then work it out from there. I think questioning further might cause issues. Couple, couple, um... Has everyone seen uh, Rogan's work? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> suddenly! <laughs> suddenly! <laughs> <laughs> That's mad. You're such a good artist, Rogan. Jeez. <coughs> Let's hope we don't have to ever fight one. Yeah. Was that a thing? <laughs> <laughs> this, this 
pretty sweet too because I like <coughs> read posts. Yeah, it's certainly yeah. not so safe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, Cubwell mentally um, back. Um, perhaps abide by the priest's wishes and re- retire to the room. You can always sneak back in if needed. Um, Cubwell kind of turned to um, uh, priest and just say, we appreciate your thoughts on this. I am a relatively risk averse person. This gives me comfort, even if I also take for your word as well that this place is safe. Consider this extra caution, maybe unnecessary, but this helps. Don't get you me. falling your eyes out now. Why? Can someone fix it, please, because you did it. Let her hair from the piano. It really doesn't matter. I don't fucking care. I wasn't, I wasn't bad, was I like Jesse? I was like really cool right here. Cool right here. Oh no. He told us when we came here that the relic being missing has weakened the sanctuary of the mm. church. He was very stressed out about it. Yeah, he was. Now he's like, ah, it's all good. Yeah. Hate's being got to. <laughs> Fitting that, it, what is this, Battle of the Fates or something? <laughs> No, that's the big ad, isn't it? Hmm? This song, like, the really big ad. Oh, oh the cut and draft, yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. Hang on, I'm just gonna grab another drink. <coughs> you, you want another beer or? Ah, uh, no, I'm all good, bro. Thank you. It's all good, though. I'll have some of this if you want. Um, well, in a second. Um, let's grab one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been uh, splurging quite a bit. Have you? <laughs> So I bought a car. Oh, nice. It's got a Lamborghini. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> uh, I bought a Haval um, Jolene. Oh, yeah, my um, sister in law's just bought one of those. Yeah. Um, quite nice, eh? They're so good for a car. Yeah. Like, because um, we got a 2024 just in time. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it's the one she just got too. Um, I had a drive of it, and I was like, they're pretty sweet, eh? Right, they just handle so well. They've got all the trimmings that you'd usually expect. Yeah. And yeah, 27 mm. for an SUV. It's not so. Yeah, but it's um, a wild jollyon. No. Ah. Hmm. Because, um, did you get a new car? Yeah. Twice. The one she brought, it's over in New It's like, I think it's the same one. But there's like another model she could have got that had like, all the same model, but it's had like a bigger, bigger yeah. screen and all that sort of shit. She's like, it was like 2K more for the, um, Lux or something. I think All it was, was leather seats. Mm, yeah, yeah. And we've got dogs that yeah. ride the car, so like, no. leather <laughs> seats. No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we'll sort of. I've always found well, the seats in cars to be a really stupid idea. Yeah. Like, why are they premium? Because, like, in winter, they're fucking freezing when you sit on them, and in summer, they're absolutely. Well, in that's pot. why most of them come with leather seat. Yeah. Yes. Leather seats. Yeah. Don't get a leather seat if you've never had one before. Because I love my leather seats. You will never be able to go back. <laughs> I've had them and I don't like them. You don't like them? No. No, I used to have a leather lounge and I hated it. Oh, uh, no. I mean, a car. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't, don't take <laughs> my Brian's, Brian's torch back home. <laughs> <laughs> My BMW had leather seats in it, and I, I yeah. yeah the only, and the only reason I got it was because it was it was used, and yeah. that's what it came with. Mm. For my preference, wouldn't have had. Yeah. And ever since that black like experience from the used <laughs> BMW leather seats, <laughs> but, um, pretty happy with the um, the cloth seats on the new one. Mm. Um. Okay, so I think. Sorry, I've just been. <laughs> So um, we're, we're, we're basically taking a long rest now, aren't we? Yeah. Yes. And I will take up your offer, I will retire to the end room. Aaron will. Aaron, yeah. Yes. Okay. Alright. <laughs> yeah, you should be able to, can you just Cos- check, you Cos- should be able to move his, yeah you can. Cos- yeah, Cos- Cosmo wouldn't be able to get into that room, so it definitely had to be Aaron. Yeah. Unless he just, like, learned teleport or something. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, the hour is about uh, half eleven at night. Okay. Um, and now we're going to cut to um, you two in the uh, Blue Water Inn. Give you that one back because that's concerned. There we go, that works. Look at that! Nice. Why are you so large? What happened there? <laughs> oh my god. What is going on with my. What is going on with my. Yeah, you should. Uh, and you got power and everything? Did you bring power? Oh, no, but this will survive. But have you got power? No. Are you USB C or anything? Um, it probably is. Yeah, it's a name. Yeah. Well, if you need it, I've got this charger that you can use when you need it. Right, so. so this should be fine. Yeah, we've got USB-C chargers coming out of our bloody Kahootas. I'm going to so. move down 8% since I've been here. Okay, cool. Alright, should be good. Oh, could you pass some biggies? That'd be great. Just... Sorry. I had lunch at like 10. 10.30. And then, yeah, it's just been chaos since, so... Ooh, they're fucking nice. What are they? They're the, fucking, they're the vegan chicken, they're oh the my cheapest God. fucking Woolworths dollar ninety for a packet, and they are outstanding. So I just went camping, camp shopping. Oh, I need, I needed you. Yeah. For an update. Chicken snack. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna get some more later. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, um, well, we upstairs now at this point. Yes, you're upstairs. Yeah. Um, do you want to? I can bring you upstairs physically if you want. Um, if there's, let's do that. Well, I suppose because if we had the long rest, we probably would have woken up and been mining. Oh, we're having a long rest now, aren't we? Yeah, I think well, was... we're trying to. Yeah. Okay. We don't know whether we're going to succeed or not. Oh, just because so I've I'm already. To you and to Cosmo. Oh, you hit the button already. I hit the button already because oh. that's what we said we were doing last time. <laughs> you, you, never, you never hit it until the DM says you have had a long rest. Okay. <laughs> um, so this is where you guys are. So. Ignore the rest of this, the coffin okay. shop, don't bring back bad memories. <laughs> and the double bed orgy area, don't worry about that, that's in another section. Um, you haven't, okay. you haven't paid going. for that. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. My boss was telling me today he had to get a new uh, personal mobile number for four reasons. And it's obviously one that's been recycled. And he keeps getting interesting text messages from people's Say, hey, are you free tonight? Have your rates changed? <laughs> I had no the way. Exact same thing. Um, it was for someone who used to work at one of the clubs in Victoria, oh. in um, Melbourne City. There was always used to get a message, are you good for shift tonight? All this other shit. What the fuck? Yeah. Different kind of shift. Yeah, different kind of shift. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, it, it was. Um, oh. Uh, it was the boardroom, so it's the brothel in Melbourne. Ah. Yeah. Because oh. they rang and they were like that, and they're like, "Is Tanya here?" He got he no. got sent pictures this morning <laughs> from, uh, from a prospective client, yeah. oh my God. and I, and he, he was showing me on like the Zoom, number, group, yeah. Zoom call. And I said, "Well, Greg, you're a very lucky girl. He looks like a very <laughs> handsome man." <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I just bought my number. Then yeah. <laughs> never, never again. So have we? Had our long rest and now waking up in the morning, or because damage now. at this stage we are comfortably lying in bed and Gron has fell asleep within probably 15 seconds. Because we're reading him a bedtime story, yeah, he's actually just rocking it. The dimmest of dim light begins to peek through the curtain-covered windows as dawn um, essentially uh, greets you. It is now about mm, quarter to six in the morning and uh, this is day four of your time. So in that's Barovia. considered a long rest though? Yeah, 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 everyone can long rest. Yeah. Um, that's the case. As long as you give me more of those chicken biscuits. Rogan <laughs> <laughs> um, was already on it. Yeah. <laughs> During the la last night's sleep. Oh, okay. Cosron. Is this Aaron? No, this is Cosron. <laughs> <laughs> this needs to be Cosron had these wild dreams about this massive silver beast just bearing down on him. He couldn't quite see what it was. <laughs> he just felt a strong wind 
and this roar, and then he woke to find this massive dragon mark scar on his shoulder. So he had a ritual. It's a big wet dream. Yeah. So do you wake up in like a, a sweat and like, uh, so I might as well... Fuck. Yeah, but I kind of wake up and go, fuck, but yes, I was um, a giant silver beast with wings bearing down on me. Ron just kind of looks at you that. And the more I think about it, the mark kind of... Did you have another one of those buys last night? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I still, still got the one here, so... That's like three days old now, isn't it? It's starting to go off a bit. <laughs> I mean, it's been refrigerated. It should be. <laughs> there is so many chemicals in that pie. It is preserved. <laughs> uh, definitely. Okay. And in that pie, I get more little new abilities. So yeah. So you wake up with cold sores, and <laughs> we, as I see this happen, I'm trying to get out of the room. And the animals now are very uneasy to what's happening. Shoulders crying. Let's get that quick, quick photo for the, the records. Oh, speaking of records. What are you doing now? Oh, oh yeah. Your turn? Um, oh yeah, the well, book's be, behind Jesse, yeah. Should be Sorry. David, but after David. Was it back to you? Mm, no. Oh, have you done it yet? I haven't. Oh, oh, he probably I've got to use it someone oh. for me this week. What are you doing? You've got two characters. Yeah. That's your excuse? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Don't invite him to the orgy room. He can't bite his ass. Does it still count playing as yourself if you two sleep together? Can only disappoint <laughs> one woman at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can disappoint hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> That's an achievement. <laughs> Without even trying. <laughs> uh, is that what it's like working in IT? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh no. If I pull the wrong So the, uh, uh, the Blue Water Inn is beginning to come to life. Um, and. Uh, You can hear the sort of clamour of, uh, you know, almost directly below you, the, the clamour of the kitchen, um, as they begin to, uh, there, you, you hear a couple of doors slam, or open and slam, on the same level as you, approximate to where you are, um, and you hear a particular, um, shuffle, like a... As someone moves down the corridor towards the stairs. Well, Ron's gotten up because he's hungry. Weird, hungry and got weirded out by Cosron, so <laughs> he's, he's gonna proceed to pretty much just swing open the door and start to get downstairs. So do I see Okay. Can weird... you slide that up to the end? And if you need somewhere for the biscuits, they can yeah, they can get up. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Right yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Got my little felts on, so tomorrow's nice. crunch and nothing. Oh good. So let's just um thin this out a little. I love those little lights, they are dinky. Yeah. <laughs> Funny how Yeah, they're pretty cool, eh? Yeah. I got them from um, Coming Up Roses. You know those guys on the um, Coming Up Roses is the little gift shop mm. um, off Riding Road. Oh There's, yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Heaps of funny little things in there. Right? Mm. We did a big shop there before we went to NZ just for gifts and shit like that. So heaps of that sort of stuff. My missus is heading off back to Europe for nearly two weeks. Sure. Comes back to Oz for three days and then goes to Singapore. 
Ooh, and I, I overheard her on the phone to one of her colleagues saying, yeah, I'll need to get my husband a big present for being away, but like, I'm trying to think what I could tell her to get me. <laughs> <laughs> Subtly hinted, of course. Oh no, I mean, I'll come right out with it. I'm going to go, but you're fucking off for two weeks on a work jolly. Oh, uh, don't. Can you just keep that quiet? <laughs> <laughs> don't speak too loudly. <laughs> I've got to go to the US in May for two weeks. So. Oh, sure. Rach is also going to be in the US in May. She's going to Miami. <laughs> oh, really? I'm in yeah. Washington. Well, Arlington, Washington, and then somewhere wherever the NGA is. So, I don't know. Half an hour south. Or that probably is a work jolly, that Miami trip as well. She's been flying like first class the entire way. Ah. <laughs> And she's not supposed to be going, like her company have like vetoed all travel completely. Like even if it's being paid for by your, you know, by the client, which in this case it is, but she's just like, no, nah, fuck it, I wanna go to Miami. <laughs> <laughs> oh, going to be a long rest for the How do you do a long rest on the website? You can't do it, you can't control someone else's character. Really? I think, yeah. Okay. I might be able to. You can, yes. Yeah. Oh, I can so, deal. No, no, just, I can't. Oh, right. DM can, but you yeah, can't. which is why, yeah, you probably need to print out the character sheet and just do the old pencil and. No, I can just do it. You just tell me any major changes and I'll, um, I'll do it. Uh, are you able to fully heal everything? Oh, long rest, yeah. Okay, so, yep, so Aaron's long rested, so if you refresh that should, um, it should come up. Okay. So, um, you come down the stairs, and I think you can see the stairs there. Yep. So just place yourself there. That'll do. <laughs> Precarious balance. Precariously <laughs> balanced. Slightly hungover, but <laughs> and very hungry. Very hungry. Extremely. Still quite angry about it, I imagine. Is that just kind of a basin where everybody <laughs> That doesn't really change. And that's my secret. A... I'm all angry. Aaron's <laughs> <laughs> HP went down. It's been a great sleep. Okay. Um, should, uh, it's 27 and 27 by mine. It was 28 out of 35. What? 35 for a rogue? That's quite a lot. That's high. Maybe it was just a wrong on that then, but um. I'm showing Aaron 27 out of 27. Yeah. Right. Sweet. Level 4? Um, it's so no, it, it said something out of 35, but maybe it, I was reading it wrong then. But that's fine, because that makes more sense for a level 4 dude. Yeah, walking speed 25 feet, 27 by 27. Yep. Um, yep, psionic power, psychic whispers, psychic blades, all that sort of shit. He doesn't get extra health from kill and stuff, does he? Wouldn't have thought so. Right. But even still, temporary hit points, I think, last only till a long rest. True. So mine actually be going to. So, Sometimes they don't. As you come down the stairs, you notice that there are two guests at separate tables. There is uh, Danica, Erwin's wife, behind the bar cleaning and preparing for the day. You do notice that there's some clanging and some clacking that like sounds like cooking um, coming from the kitchen which is uh, sort of underneath the stairs as you're coming down. Um, you can see on the model there. Um, you're about three quarters of the way down the stairs and both gentlemen stop and look up. They pause for a moment, they make eye contact with you. Mm -hmm. The gentleman in the corner quickly returns and begins to write notes into some form of journal. Mm -hmm. He has uh, some sort of broth in front of him. He pauses and, and takes a spoon of that. The other guy continues to eyeball you. And then he just sort of 
What do you do in return? Um, Grond is being angry and hungry on his way to the kitchen looks at him and got a fucking problem! And he sort of looks at him and then just... Sort of just so you say, what's the fucking problem? Yeah. The gentleman there just immediately sort of snaps out of it and... and and he goes, oh, I'm oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, <laughs> and, and returns to his broth. Um, do I make my way down now? Yeah, sure. Cool. Uh, make my way down to the follow. <laughs> make my way down. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Hey, mate, at this point, I feel like I'm probably making my way over. And, what, sorry, where are you pulling up? Uh, I'm sort of on the beer rag in the middle of the... Of that table? Uh, of the... Oh, just in the middle of the area? Yeah, yeah, yeah heading towards yeah. the bar to get, order some food. Okay. Um, even till you get it this time. Danica, Danica sort of uh, now acknowledges you and she says, Morning, love. Um, broth? Breakfast broth? Um, well... Or would yes. you like, uh, would you like uh, to cook something up? Cook whatever you've got, the best you've got. I want it all. I'm hungry. Paid for a big meal last night and I didn't get it. So I want it now. <laughs> I'm going to like a beer while an ale while I'm waiting. <laughs> right. right. Um, um, that's, I mean, that's kind of, you know, if you're going with yeah. uh, period, period history, that would be accurate. Yeah. You yeah. wouldn't drink the water, it'd kill you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true. Oh. So, um, she indicates, um, well, look, Ooh, uh, steak. we've got breakfast broth, and she sort of brings the menu over to you. Um, and, and that, good sir, is included uh, with your room, um, with a couple of uh, slices of bread. Um, perhaps I could, uh, perhaps I could interest you in, um, in, uh, you know, some uh, a, a steak or something. Um, um, as I said last night, I would like one of everything. Oh, I see. Well, of course. Um, how much did that end up being? Oh, no, I just think he paid like five gold. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he, he threw a lot of money at them. Um, 12, 10, 14, 15. I like it as well. Shall we say uh, 15 silver? For two taps. Uh, and I'll just yeah. throw two gold. This is good, though, but yeah. you can't oh. a lot of this. Oh. And she seeks to, um, she seeks to get changed now. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about it. Uh, are you sure, good sir? I, just, I, I, just I cook do. the food. I have, I have change. Um, no, cook the food and bring me a beer. A Get beer in. as well. Okay, well then I, I do say we are indeed square. Um, and uh, with that she, uh, she flurries around and then she opens the door um, into the kitchen. And she yells, and then you hear this this squeal back. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna proceed to okay. sit at this big table, right smack in the middle of it, ready for my feast to <laughs> arrive. Because not had the other tour at that table, right? So. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna look around the room. Um, just, I'm trying to find someone that might be able to give me some type of information. So, who, who's actually in the room? Um, so, what you see is um, Danica returning after yelling at her husband um, yeah. a set of uh, rather unclear instructions, which he immediately understood um, and panicked. Um, <laughs> You see that there's uh, a gentleman sitting at the uh, first table, and that's uh, that's the first, the closest table to you. Um, he seems quite furtive. He, he's he's now sort of got his head down. Um, uh, you, you perhaps heard or saw a little bit of the interaction from Gron, so you sort of assimilate that he's kind of a bit intimidated. So he's like, he's like down. He's not looking at fucking anyone. He's staring at the table. The gentleman in the corner, though. Um, has a, a a rather exquisite notebook um and uh his broth um and uh, and some sort of uh mug of something which is steaming um and uh he he 
you notice he's actually just been paying attention to you. And as you look at you, as you look at him, as you scan the room, he doesn't immediately break his attention. He, he, he sort of like, he gives you a little sort of, he goes like, and then returns and makes some notes in his journal. Then he closes the journal, places uh, his uh, writing implement down on top of it, um, turns and has a sip of the broth. I'm going to walk over to his table. Um, is that him in the back corner? Yeah. So you approach his table? I approach his table, yeah. And he goes, Ah, good morning, sir. Um, Interesting to see new faces here in this uh, this land. What brings you to Barovia? Well, um, things are very interesting. However, what have you been writing in that notebook there? I see. Uh, just my thoughts. I assure you, they are nothing but a private collection of uh, my uh, considerations uh, of my time here. May I introduce myself? And he stands. Are you standing? Or yeah, you yeah I'm standing. Yeah. He stands. And he, uh, he has a cane. And he assists himself up with the cane. And he has some, like, perspectral glasses. I mean, actual fact. Let's just have a quick look. Surely I have him. Oh, of course. Um. Okay, we don't. Okay. Um, give me but a moment. No, without knocking the wall. Um, Hang on. No, oh, yeah, sorry. I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, I thought you did. <laughs> um, can, uh, by the way, uh, Nick, can you just turn around just on the back shelf there next to the bottle opener? There's a black. Um, Black token. Yeah. Would you like a disinspiration? I will. Be or will you take your time? I will be quiet. Okay, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> disinspiration. <laughs> so they're the same as well. No, nah, it's just a black inspiration, but you know, has its moments. Although in the black is typically positive in the rain and I'm going to shut up before I get one. Nick, <laughs> 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 um, could you just pass that black cursor stride? Apologise for this. I'm, I'm normally very well prepared for our sessions, but I've been no stress. a little beleaguered yes. of late, or well, not <coughs> late, in the last week and a half. Work has been. Stupid. I'm just looking at antonyms for for inspired. Dis 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 discouraged, daunted, disheartened, uninspired, <laughs> saddened, depressed, undermined, weakened, demoralized, I think is quite demoralized. Good. <laughs> is probably you get the depressed token here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I, I really <laughs> like disinspiration. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> disinspiration. <laughs> disinspiration. <laughs> Achievements. Basically, you got the ritual. <coughs> no, it's one hour to attune. Well, yeah, so kind of, but you got to spend like time to kind of stroke your new toy and make yeah. friends with it. <laughs> <laughs> Into an orifice of your toy. Got to remember to do that. You've got to touch it to completion. <laughs> <laughs> touch the ring. <laughs> touch the ring. Bruno! <laughs> One AC, but it's one AC. Any of you guys listening to audio books much? Um, used to a lot, but not so much now. I've got a 
it's not an audio book, it's a radio play of The Lord of the Rings that was uh, broadcast in the UK in the 80s. Oh. So it's pretty good. Is that one the one that, um... Oh, that would be Bilbo, cool. The actor who played Bilbo oh, okay. in One Travel. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard of that. Yes. It is, and it is pretty good. Yeah. I've just listened to it again recently on mm. the way through. It's 13 episodes. Yeah. So if anyone wants a copy, I can help you out. Oh yeah, you can. I've got plenty of time to listen to work, so... I always like... When I watch Lord of the Rings, it's like... I get so inspired to be like, Yeah, okay, let's run a fantasy D&D campaign. Let's go, come on! <laughs> <laughs> and there's this ring, and there's this... Oh shit, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you read any of the other stuff? Like, Unfinished Tales and... Uh, no. Like... If I mean, if you want to get really inspired, like read the rest of the Tolkien work because yeah, like, he, the, the Silmarillion is, you know, that that's like it's like the Bible of the Lord, isn't it? Well, it's it's like a backstory because it's like it's, you know about the first days, but it's like the undetailed version. Mm. If you want to really, really get sucked into it, you start with the Lost Book of Lost Tales one, the Book of Lost Tales two. Unfinished Tales, The Laser of Valyria. The list just goes on and on and on, and they are so detailed. <laughs> I read, I read a bunch of them when I was a kid. I heard it was hard to read his books because the um, the detail grammar is not great. The, in, in the detailed ones, yes. I mean, it's like the grammar is great. What he was, was that? He was a All my of mini that. figures off the front. Yeah, yeah I guess that's archaic. Cool. <laughs> is it will be a better. That was very. Yeah. 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 I'll actually, I'll just take him off. Very <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Been I thought was it. Describing a tree. So, <laughs> this is the gentleman that you are currently interacting with. Okay. And uh, uh, he has um, he's. Basically, uh, you've asked him about his journal, he's given you his response, um, and uh, he, he was says, just uh, introducing himself. Did he give his name? Or did he give his name? Yes, but, uh, oh, that's right, he stood. Yes, sorry, that's where I was getting up to. And he stands up and he goes, uh, Ah, lovely to meet you. And your name is? Uh, I'm known as Cosron. Cosron, uh, I am uh, Ricardo, I'm a uh, traveller to this land. Uh, I am a purveyor of a circus. Perhaps you have heard of me. Maybe. I feel like we may have uh, come across a pamphlet or something like that referencing a circus. Oh, indeed, you probably have. Um, I have taken up residence here and there's a wonderful uh, Danica, a beautiful home you offer us travellers. And he sits back down. Please, will you join me? Of course. And uh, <clears throat> what brings you to this land? Um, we're actually also travelling through, um, getting the lay of the land. I, I thought you might um, be able to help us out with a bit of information, if possible. Oh, indeed. Um, no. We are just all trying to survive here in this land. Um, perhaps, please tell uh, I'm curious as to how you arrived. We arrived by sea. It's one way to put it. Oh, I see. And, um, uneventful arrival? Um, one would say eventful, yes. Um, where you, uh, he sort of looks around. Where is Shipwreck? Yes. A common story for our travellers that arrive and pass through. I'm not sure whether they actually uh, pass through or pass on, but um, welcome all the same. And uh, I wish you and your uh, is that your uh, friend? Uh, yes. I'm guessing you're sitting there eagerly. Have I got my <laughs> I see. I I do not judge, but uh, a fine companion. <laughs> One of the best. <laughs> <laughs> As you uh, travel through this land quite a bit, um, what can you tell me of Vasily? Mm. You have met uh, Lord Vasily. Yes, uh, multiple times. However, multiple times. How long have you been here? Um, I believe we've been here. This uh, is the fourth day. Oh, for four days now. 
Oh, I see. Most interesting. Uh, when did you first meet uh, our friend Vasily von Holt? I think it was um, the second day we were here. <coughs> hmm. Was that um, <coughs> to the east? Um, yes, yes, mm -hmm. it was. <laughs> I was just <laughs> trying to think where we were. Um, uh, uh, yes, yes, to the east. Does anyone want to take this inspiration? <laughs> <laughs> Cosron, are you doing a perception check to see if you could hear this conversation? Gron. Oh, sorry, Gron, sorry. Um, no, absolutely not. He's focused on ale and food right now. All right. Yeah. <laughs> then let him fucking struggle by himself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes, uh, yes, to the east. Uh, we counted Vasily a few days ago. Oh, I see. Mm. Mm. And the seer? Yes. And what did she say? Well, I think um, she did mention some things. However, what can you tell us about Vasily? Yeah, an interesting man, Lord Vasily. Um, I'll tell you what, this playlist is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> An interesting man is our Lord Vasily, yeah. I can't quite work him out. He seems uh, quite the man about town, and is generally of a good demeanour. I have had occasion to communicate with him, but um, he uh, is less interested in me. Um, what, uh, what has brought his interest? Uh, we... Uh... Just happened upon him at the seer, and um, he was travelling through at the time. Hmm. I see, how curious. Um, have you met him here yet, in town? <clears throat> yes, we did actually meet him. However, he seemed a bit different. That's why I'm more curious about him. Oh, I see, a bit different. And he reaches for his notebook, and then he, <laughs> he sort of like puts it back aside as if it was an unconscious act. And he uh, places his hand back and says, um, are you taking broth? Um, yes, I, I guess I am. Um, I will eventually. Hmm. Um, perhaps uh, go see uh, Danica and uh, order your broth and uh, um, please uh, feel free to join me. I, I would love to continue our conversation. Okay, I'll go up and find okay. Danica. Then. Freeze frame. Let's go to the church. Church, church. Um. Um, just, yeah, actually, just place him behind so Brian, actually. Be That'd be uh, really cool. Thanks, Lance. Oh, great. Oh, 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 The dim, incredibly dim light of dawn uh, begins to uh, to to you know, creep its way into the the uh, the church of Saint Andrew, and uh, you individually rouse David first in his room alone. Oh, sorry, Aaron. Yes. <laughs> oh, David, Aaron. So, um, Aaron is going to make his way into the main room. The church is um, particularly quiet. There are no sort of sounds of activity whatsoever. Um, <laughs> find that hard to believe. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Except for the rather large <laughs> evil creature. Um, Just finishing off eating the priest. <laughs> <laughs> Before I go any further. Okay. Um, Clank and uh, and Cup. Uh, I'll be packing up his bedroll and. Um... At this point, Irina opens the door. Does 
you trip over Cub on the way through because he's rolled a big one right the door. Straight into the clank. I need a standing arena image in every uh, pack that I develop. <laughs> so there's signs on arena image. Um, Clank's going to stare at her neck as soon as he sees her and see whether or not there's any fresh puncture marks. We have a section check. Oh, nice. Uh, 23. <laughs> you notice that she um, comes out and, whether by habit or what, but she sort of does rub her neck and then does her hair. Um, but there are absolutely no fresh puncture marks whatsoever. Yes. Job done, lads. <laughs> <laughs> no. You didn't even need those. There's a morning gentleman, uh, quite a day ahead of us, I believe. Um, and so I call on uh, Baron Vargas and uh, I shall introduce myself and uh, make preparations for my brother's arrival and reception. Um, what, uh, how was your evening? Uh, we've had better ones. Um, Can you add a thought? I'm like still like polishing out some of the dents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're hurt. Well, when she comes more. up and lays a gentle hand on your dent. <laughs> <laughs> or, or where your dent would be if you had one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your concern, Rita, but to really, I'm, I'm fine now. I have rested, I have recovered. Are you sure you don't need any polishing? Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> and with that, she sort of immediately dismisses you and, and uh, walks towards Cub and she says, Oh, Cub, good sir, how are you? We have. Has... Are you wounded? No. Have you, have you fought off in my protection? We did indeed spend the night here. Have you room? lost? And, and she sort of races to the door and opens it and goes, Oh, Aaron! And, and then she looks and she scans. And she spins around with a flurry of red hair and breast. And she goes, <laughs> Your companions, Cosron and, and Grond, they... Are, they, are they lost? And when... she places her hand and she goes, Oh, it's, uh, it, must, it must pain you, but... Um, they, I assure you, it, it, they, they, went, they, to, were, they went to get drunk. In, in a small amount of time, their passing will be meaningless to you. <laughs> <laughs> they retired to the Blue Water Inn for the night. <laughs> and we know oh, you get to be Aaron. Yeah. That's a bit shitty. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't think that one through, right. did we? <laughs> oh, thank God. Goodness, she says. So they're safe. Aaron wasn't seeing, was he? <laughs> no. A little bit. <laughs> he wasn't not seeing. <laughs> um, yeah, and and I, I guess with that, um, she uh, she goes. Uh, I see. I I, I must. Uh, I shall break my fast. And um, oh, is, is Father Lucian about? We haven't seen him yet. We haven't seen yes this morning. I Last wonder, I wonder if he does a morning mass or some form, but um, perhaps we should return to your friends. The church seems rather quiet this morning. Um, perhaps we should. I believe this is Father Lucian's door. Should we knock on this? Yeah, let's go and let's go and see. At least you know, thank him for uh, the accommodation for the night before we back her off. Uh, indeed. Uh, I think Cub's going to try and knock on the door. There. There's no response for about a minute or so, and then you hear a door slam internally. And then the door does indeed open. And Father Lucian looks a, a little dishevelled. Uh, I think you guys have got his minifig. Yeah, okay, yeah. Looks a little uh, little dishevelled. Um, and he goes, because uh, uh, quite frankly, it's about 20 past six in the morning. Um, and he goes, oh, you are early risers. Uh, 
Oh, Lady Arena, good morning to you. And she calls back, oh, good morning, Father Lucien. And he goes, may the morning Lord bless you, my dear. Um, I, I have little to offer you in terms of uh, sustenance, but I can offer you prayers downstairs, perhaps. We would stay if this is the Lady Irene's wish. However, we simply wish to thank you for your accommodation and that we would be You are to... most welcome. Um, but there, there is this problem with the bones, and um, he sort of beckons you in. Um, come, come, and he sort of beckons to the rest of you to go into um, the room. to come and join him in the room. Um, and Irina, almost oblivious to this, she goes, uh, "I must, uh, I must go downstairs for my ablutions. Please excuse me." And then she goes, um, uh, makes her way um, down to uh, Irina. Would you spare a moment? She stops and comes over to you. To discuss with the father. Father Lucian, you have some concerns. And he goes, Ah, uh, oh, my dear, I uh, I just wish to talk um, perhaps some business uh, with your friends. Uh, please, um, please uh, make a, make the church your home, for it is the home to all of us here in Barovia. Sure. And may the morning Lord bless you and your morning ablutions. Surely anything that can be mentioned to us can be mentioned to the Lady Irina. She ah, uh, indeed they can. Um, much but more uh, uh, one must not, uh, must not, uh, uh, I guess, uh, complicate um, matters. Um, please, uh, Lady Irina, um, please go go about your business. This is none of your concern. Uh, I believe you're meeting Baron Vargas today, and she goes, yes, uh, I do believe I have an appointment with the Baron, although I, uh, we had confirmation, and she sort of turns and looks at your faces. It was your concern to meet here before we introduce ourselves to the Baron. Otherwise, we would have gone straight to the Baron. Oh, I see. Um... Well, in that case, um, yes, Father, we shall send message to the Baron today um, and meet uh, perhaps after lunch or even for a lunch, um, for I am sure he will wish to host me, for my brother shall arrive within a few days. And um, Father Lucian sort of turns to her and he says, um, uh, that is uh, that's great and uh, reminds me of the sad loss I have heard um, in relation to... Uh, to your father. Yes, and she lowers her head, and with that, she uh, sort of saunters off and goes down the stairs. Father, tell me, is there any reason why you do not wish for the Lady Irina to bear witness to what you You understand? young fools! She must feel safe somewhere. You do not understand. Come, come! And he calls you in um, and takes a seat. Um, a couple walking. Does knowledge not also provide safety? To be better prepared? It is, it is not. Uh, are your friends coming? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Clank? Yeah, I've moved him. He's in oh, there. Yeah. He's in there. <laughs> Cartwheels in the living room. Cartwheeling in. <laughs> <laughs> Says, uh, and, and Father Lucian says, uh, um, Good sir, shut the door uh, as Aaron comes in. Um, and Aaron shuts the door. And you each take a seat. Where are we talking? <laughs> <laughs> so Ikea. <laughs> um, and Father Lucian says, uh, The matter of the bones. <coughs> Is there any chance that I can beseech you to seek their retrieval? For there is good reason, my fellow, uh, my fellow uh, um, acolyte. There is good reason that uh, I do not want to alarm Irina that she is perhaps not as safe as she could be here. For the bones have protected this place for time immemorial, and. Uh, it is of utmost urgency that uh, 
re regain them and uh, consecrate them again to the depths of the church. Mm. Indeed. It is fortunate that uh, nothing has occurred overnight, except that uh, your friends have talked of vampire spawn. Yes, uh, we did indeed fight vampire spawn, and the, to be completely honest, the truth of the matter is that from what we were able to ascertain, the bones were indeed in the coffin shop at one point. Vasily did arrive and use some sort of artifact to destroy these vampire spawn. Then he is your saviour. That would appear so. Then and we should uh, and we he... should investigate. Perhaps he has saved the bones himself. Oh, of course. Why did not I think of that last night? You must forgive me. I am an old man and tired. That is clear. But the Lord Vasily has not stolen the bones, as you've uh, your machine thing has intimated. Um, and perhaps um. Yes, I shall. I shall call upon Lord Vasily this morn, this very morn, to see if he uh, indeed has the bones and uh, could return them to the church. This is most wonderful. If he does have them, then he lied to us to our faces last night because he said he hadn't. Well, one, one must not uh, question Lord Vasily's means or ways. He has proven himself to be a strong benefactor, not only of this church, but of this town. Father, do you trust this man? And in, indeed, of course I do. I trust Lord Vargas to see us through the dark and... Uh, Does Cub feel any sense of doubt or... What do you mean inside, Jay? Thank you. Okay, let's try that. Yeah, that one is... Uh, 17. Turn. Hmm. Okay, let's go outside. <coughs> Make sure I don't step on that. Got well, Irina lays her hand on Kane's stand and offers a polishing service. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try and say and do as little as I can to Aaron to yep. see that I'm not. Yeah, yeah. What's um charisma for you guys? As in um, value of yeah. poor, I think. Is it more than a plus one? A plus two? No. Uh, sorry. Plus zero. Oh, wait, you're with me anyway. Mm. Uh, I'm just thinking if we need to, like, strong arm him or anything. God, Aaron's stats it. Why did he take. He took skill expert rather than. Anything else? Well, he did, he did say something about it, didn't he? Because what a skill expert again? It just gives you um, proficiency, investigation, perception, and dexterity. Right. Right. Dex is good. Oh, call him out in a second. Uh, you say you call him out in a second. <laughs> <laughs> For a rogue, I just thought there'd be heaps more he could have done. Although he's psychic, isn't he? Yeah. Order is being made. Estimated delivery 808 to 824pm. I like how I ordered it yesterday. I still like it. Or at 8pm. <laughs> good, good on you. Did you go for Domino's? Nice. Well, I was like, everyone else was like, I'm easy. And then Duncan's like, Domino. So I'm like, okay. I don't know what other ones we can go with. Crust is another crust. one, isn't that? Crust is good. I like crust. Mm. I like that um, pizza cap that you got. Yeah, the yeah, pizza cap was pretty I, I good. Mean, I, I like the pizza cap. It was good, good. yeah. Because uh, I think I want pizzas next time, so I think I might do the pizza capers. Well, they got rid of the, one of the better pizza shops, which um, I forget what it's called. It's like, it used to be next to um, Broken Hearts Burgers in Morningside. Mm, no. There was a pizza shop there that did like an Italian sausage, all this other stuff, and it was amazing. I think Big I Boss or something? Mm. Pizzas? There used to be. Yeah, that was well, something like that. Yeah. A pizza place that we used to go years and years ago. That was like really good around where we um, 
in my parents' place. And then like they're sold and you know new owners and stuff like that and just just crash. quality, yeah. So, which is really unfortunate when that happens. Yeah, they happened in our hometown as well. There's this real good pizza place, same thing. It was like one of the it was popping every almost every, you know, Thursday, Friday, Saturday would be crazy. And then yeah, new owners came along and it just turned to shit. I will say Sugo is pretty good. It is good, expensive, but good. Very expensive. What's that new Italian is it the new Italian place opened up by oh, yeah, uh, is it Davella that Mina or whatever. No, it's, um, it's changed now. It's changed name. Is it's it Stella? Is it the same Stella? Stella yeah. yeah. It's the same managers, I think, but different owners. Is it a different menu like, or anything? Or? No, the menu is pretty much identical. So that's yeah. typical though of like restaurants. Have like you have daughters? Yeah. 15 months old, almost 16 months old. Um, oh my God, apparently I said something like seven years ago when she was born. <laughs> it's like an emotional event. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, it's been one of those nights, right? I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> and good luck for me because she's only seven. <laughs> <laughs> You've got like another how many years now? <laughs> <coughs> oh my goodness. Alright, um. Okay, you said that. Father. I can see that you are putting on a brave face for this. Please let me assure you that any honest, if you are able to be honest and speak truthfully here, this will benefit us a lot more than trying to hide the truth behind comforting words. I understand. You must. Why you must. For Irina. You however, must respect that Irina has come here in good faith to seek shelter in my church under Saint Andrew's bones and the Morning Lord's blessing. Nothing must uh, unhinge this. Indeed, which is why we also stayed in the uh, forum last night for extra comfort. She is our charge until we see that she is delivered to the Baron at this stage. And if she requires assistance beyond that, then I'm sure that we... I, perhaps I employ you. Um, and he sort of shuffles around a little bit and he, he goes... Uh, you are an insightful man. I, it would be my strong desire that uh, the Bones and Lady Irina return to the church today and this evening. And uh, she is a permanent room, and he points across uh, here. Um, I shall go see Vasily this morning. I do not think this is wise. No. We. In complete honesty, we do not know if he has rescued the bones or stolen the bones. We know that what we know is that they were there and they were not there, and the only other individuals. But there were, you said there were vampire spawn, that perhaps. Were, that were perhaps destroyed. one of them has taken it away, and the silly is. How uh, could the vampire touch such a holy relic? I beg your pardon? How could a vampire touch such a holy relic? If that it's is not possible that the vampire took them. In addition to this, the groundskeeper did mention someone would be there Milicic. to collect the bones. I see. I shall have words with him this morning too. Um, it would be unwise for you to visit Vasily alone. Please, let Milicic us... has confessed to... Milicic... Uh, that guy did, <laughs> yeah. did confess to obtaining the bones and took them to the coffin shop. Oh However, he god. did say- and he slumps back and he goes, yeah. oh my god. This last day, it has been too much. I shall go to Vasily now. Father, and break. this is not wise. We have told you this. We have our concerns. I know you believe him to be an upstanding man. We have our doubts. They may be unfounded. However, for your safety, I would fear visiting uh, Lord Vasily has never threatened me. In all my interactions with him in the town, he has been nothing but a gentleman. I... Perhaps... Then this perhaps is uh, a plan, as uh, the likes of you I have become to know uh, like to have. Perhaps the plan is that uh, I shall seek Vasily's counsel on the bones. 
politely and without inferring any kind of slander against him. And perhaps you yourselves could perhaps see whether perhaps someone else has taken the bones or if it is Lord Vasily, then um, perhaps you can uh, work towards uh, their ultimate retrieval. Lady Irina has shown her interest in meeting this Lord Vasily. Perhaps we may inquire or, turning to Aaron, discover if certain artifacts may be in his possession. I, um, on your behalf. I think Lady Irina needs to focus on uh, treating with uh, Baron Vargas at the moment. Um, interactions uh, with Lord Vasily will only just confuse the situation. I, 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 I shall speak to Vasily. You shall look for the bones. Should Vasily be deceitful, as you so claim, machine man, with your large learning module. Um, I, uh... And he sort of pauses. Yes, this is what we shall do. I shall treat with Vasily. You shall continue your investigations for the bones. You shall arrange for Irina's safe and uh, hospitable interaction with Baron Vargas. And then return here. All of you, return here and you may sleep here again. I shall make preparations and uh, see what other accommodation Father, I can make. With all due respect, you are a man of faith. I have dedicated my life to knowledge and understanding and reason. And I have, as far as I have seen, have expressed my concern for your safety and yes for you visiting Vasily alone, based on what we have ascertained. I have met Vasily many times in town. Should you choose to do this and confront him, regardless of any accusation, I cannot predict what may happen, but you perhaps may not return here to life. If you must do it, perhaps I can cast psychic whispers that way if something does happen you can tell us straight oh, away I need, I need none of your arcane and uh, dark magic without us being there it may be too late maybe. it may but then at least we will know okay. I have spoken my piece if this is what you choose then I am not in my I, I do I do choose this I choose that I shall speak with Facili this morning you shall make inquiries, perhaps uh, return to the coffin shop and double check that uh, this, uh, this theft has occurred. And then Henrik is in fact telling you least time. the truth. Um, Father, I've told you with all certainty what we know. We're if not you, going back to the if coffin you choose, shop. If you choose this path, I cannot say. Or then what? tend to your charge, Indeed. young Irina. Seek Baron Vargas today. And uh, I, I beseech ye. Uh, I hope consider for your sake we are wrong. Consider I... my counsel. Seek the bones, please. There is uh, there, there is, is much afoot in Barovia. Sorry, in Valakia. Um, I disagree with his his requests. The uh, from from what we can gather. Vasily is the only person who can have taken the bones. He denied having done so. He and lied I to our am in agreement. And this is and what he, his, his abilities far outstrip our current abilities. There is no point in us trying to confront him about it. I would hesitate to even try and a, a stealthy approach and search without his knowledge. The as far as far as Clank is concerned, the bones are lost. We're never going to see them again. This is disturbing news, says uh, Father, uh, Father Lucien. The only other option, perhaps, would be to hold a special prayer or thanks or some kind of ceremony, whichever you do here, in honour of Lord Vasily for his rescuing of us. Do not invite him into the church. But make it known that this is for him. 
I see. This way. Now he he's he sort of considers. Um, he he sort of sits back and he sort of yeah. He considers what you're saying. He goes, um, yes, this is um, this is perhaps. Uh, this way, you yes. will show an outstanding citizen. He considers and he goes, uh, yes, this, this shall be. Um, but uh, tell me, what, uh, what is the, your part in all of this? I shall, uh, I shall send word uh, this morning and this evening we will hold uh, a, a sigil for the morning lord in thanks of Lord Vasily and his saving our guests. Perhaps all of you could return this evening and be our guests of honour in the church. Indeed, and this would confirm if Lord Vasily has not stepped foot in this church before. I thought you said not to invite him. Not to, not to invite him specifically, but surely a prayer held in his honour, a man of his stature would attend. Should he not attend, this would indeed confirm our suspicions, particularly if he were to have the bones. Surely he would try to redeem this, uh, to return this if this is, would confirm your suspicions that he is a good out, un, you know, outstanding man of this town. I still doubt that he has taken the bones in any form of malice. It would not, not surprise not me if he turns up even Father, this you instant. misunderstand. What I'm saying is that if in your belief that he is a good outstanding man and has rescued the bones, he would return them and in, uh, with a prayer in honour of him, he would have no other option other than to return them and, and show in good faith. If he does not, then this shows against what you believe in this man. Therefore, we may be proven correct. Does I this see. This seem... this makes sense. Um, let us uh, let us break our fast. Um, unfortunately, of course, uh, I have very little to offer you. Um, for and he sort of pauses and he he sort of looks around and he says, um, perhaps there is some in the larder that I could offer. We have some rations ourselves. Oh. Then, uh, if it fires you that you require to uh, to cook these rations, um, I shall have a, I shall rouse Milovich and uh, have him set a fire uh, in the uh, in the cottage. If this would, Karen, I know Clank, you do not partake, but hot water for tea. <coughs> or you could go back to the fucking inn. But anyway, that's all. Right. <laughs> uh, we should I think meet we up should. without without yes. our friends. <laughs> Um, we should be on our way. Before we leave, <coughs> Father. Yes. Forgive me for accident. Forgive me. <laughs> um, for your safety. Was it Angelina? <laughs> <laughs> for your safety. Sophia. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I would like to cast a boon upon you. I need none of your dark magic, good sir. This is not dark magic. I know. I do not wish to partake in your magic. Does he have to be willing? <laughs> <laughs> no means no. Uh, this will simply be so I can communicate with you if something does happen while we We can communicate this evening when we return for the celebration, the mass, where the morning lord and myself shall thank Lord Vasily for saving your asses basically and with that he stands up and he says uh, good morning i shall see you this evening upon the setting of the sun where mass shall be held Dear. if you may bring a candle no, <laughs> <laughs> are you casting uh yeah Casting Psychic Whispers on um, Father and Cup. <laughs> Psychically touched. Okay, give me the Psychic Whispers. Does yep. he have to be willing? No. 
But as an action, choose one or more creatures you can see equal to your proficiency bonus. The chosen creatures can speak telepathic with you. To send or receive message, they just need to be within one mile. Don't need to speak the same language. There's no whether or not. How long does it last? Um, That's the roll. Five hours. Five hours. Now, the uh, time now. The key word in there was can. Can, can and the other thing is you can't read thoughts. 11.44, it will finish. Psychic Whisper ends on Lucian at 11.44 a.m. So, Father Lucian, should you fall under attack if you're in danger, simply call out my name. Are you talking to me? I can hear your voice. Yes. You have cast dark magic on me. Oh. <laughs> should you come under attack, call my name and we will come. And your name is? Eric. I see. All right, young child, uh, young man, I shall, um, I shall call your name. And with that, um, he sort of wanders back into his uh, his area. Um, I'm just p- picturing messing with the priest halfway through the day, just like, hey. <laughs> I mean, you, I was thinking, you could have so went with the I am your lord. Tell them everything. <laughs> I, d- I, d- I don't think even Cosron's uh, cast something against someone else's wishes. <laughs> Okay, so what do you guys want to do now? Um, Irina can is coming back up, you know, fully bluted, looking slightly thinner. Um, Just while we're out of earshot of um, the priest, and before yeah, we stick talk, him in. There. To, he's he's gone to. Before yeah. we talk to Irina, I want to turn to the other guys and just say, Do you think this was the, the best alternative to hold a mass in Vasily's honor? I saw no other way to con- to stop the priest from visiting. Sorry. My concern was Vasily said he would be visiting that night. So I'm worried he will make good on his promise and visit during the day. Now that the bones are not here, he's not consecrated. If he is here for nefarious reasons, he will have no issue. In the same way though, I think, as you mentioned, the vampire's form might not have been able to move the bones if Vasily was born other than Vasily, perhaps. Perhaps this means he is not undead of this nature, but working with it, perhaps, could be. I feel the vampire's form that we met last night were the lowest of the undead and lack the strength. If if the city is a more powerful persuasion, then the bones probably present less of a challenge to him. Um, and this is a concern. In any event, I think pursuing the bones is a waste of time now. Um, I agree. Indeed. My main goal was to ensure that the father did not how lose is, his how, life. how is having a mass for him this evening stopping him going out and visiting him today? I'm exactly. not sure I follow that. That is why I... It was my only hope that perhaps he would avoid doing so and instead hold a mass. If he when chooses to do this, there's Knock no him out and tie him up and throw him in the cellar. <laughs> for his own good. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps. I feel the father is a fool and maybe beyond help. He refused to listen to our good advice. I feel the Salim will not be coming to the church because when speaking with him earlier, I got the feeling that Vasily has never once set foot in this church. Mm-hmm. Indeed. I have spoken my part. We have warned him as much as we can. There is nothing further we can do for this man. I feel we've done. Yeah. Yeah. What we could do. The things to do next today are consult with the Lady Arena and see and whether or not 
whether or not she wishes to join us for breakfast at the, uh, the Blue Water Inn, or whether she wishes to head directly to go and see Baron Vargas. Indeed. All right, so I guess with that, are we moving to Lady Arena? And... So Lady Arena comes up the stairs <coughs> and um, she, uh... oh, she looks particularly refreshed, slightly thinner in the waist. Um, and she goes, uh, shall we, uh, shall we break out fast and, uh, should we go to your companions? Would you wish to break the We did, we did pay for rooms, did we not? Indeed, at the Blue Water. And I do recall that they did include a hearty breakfast, is that not the case? Although, uh, do you eat? No, you've asked that before. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, just checking. Um, and uh, with that she says, uh, I shall just be a moment and get my things. Um, and she heads into a room and returns uh, carrying her sword, um, her satchel, um, and uh, has donned uh, elements of armour that uh, she uh, wore upon the journey here. Shall we go? Indeed. So, um, as you uh, make your way downstairs, uh, oh. hang on, let me, let me find where downstairs is. Make yourself downstairs. So uh, you make yourself, uh, sorry, you make your way down the stairs um, and uh, yeah, obviously you wandered a little bit in because that, the stairs upwards, uh, the stone stairs are there. That's my bad, but um, you're a little bit, you know, lost. Um, <laughs> the doors, uh, the doors of the church are shut in front of you. to try and open them, I guess. Or should we try and go out the way we came in? Which was the side door up the back somewhere. Very well. Um, I mean, it's the oh, no, it's not well. They're only just shut. Like, they're, they're, not, um, they're not bolted. Oh, uh, okay. Just hang on, just, just everyone just pause for two seconds. Certainly. Let me... Just let me um, Interesting that the doors are not bolted, yet Father Lucian only just arose. And yet they were locked last night as we tried to enter. And there's like apparently a massive congregation in here already. Isn't that for silly? <laughs> what? What? Where is it? Oh, sorry. There you go. I thought I saw it. <sighs> so there's heaps of people in the pews already, so. It's a big church, maybe there's some acolytes around that opening up first thing in the Yeah, morning. I was going to say, surely he's not the only one that works. Also, yeah, the there's some... Um, the has got to do his job still. Yeah. yeah, there's a young lady who sort of wanders across uh, across here and goes back into the other room. Um, and there are, uh, already are a number of parishioners here for morning prayers, because obviously the morning lord um, is... Uh, we're talking about. A bit sacrilegious of Father Lucian to accuse us of big early risers. Blasphemy! <laughs> 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 <Fine. Fine. laughs> Are you not of the morning? <laughs> okay, so um, are you heading out the main doors or are you heading down the side? Out the main doors. Out the main doors. Okay. Um, as you approach, Marina goes with you, uh, opens the doors. And, um, Woot. hang on. Could you, um, <laughs> could you place, place that there? Just right in front of you. Oh, it is. Yes. 
Lord Vasily von Holtz is standing there with a bag. Morning, gentlemen. How are you faring? Have you rested well? Indeed. This is a uh, this is a relief. Um, has Father Lucian been up yet? He is a late riser. <laughs> um, he has. Before anything else happened, he planned his casting to take good naval. Which is a double whammy, actually, because it means that if he's got the relic on him, I should know that as well. <laughs> Didn't the re uh, relic run out of the Oh, you mean the bones? Or yeah, the bones. Well, the pizza there. should be here soon. Right. Hi, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so, um... Does, um, Irene get fucking activated when she sees Vanilla walking up? Vanilla walking up. Activated? She gets the bunkers. <laughs> hey, so, um, are we expecting 805? Are we expecting pizza at 8? The pizza, it's like, it should be arriving like almost any minute. Oh, okay, cool. Alright, just give me two secs. I shall, um... Pizza. I've got a little um, Frodo's right, nature at home, I think I should paint now. Right, are we breaking for pizza? Yeah. Is it here? Oh, yeah, that's yeah, the picture yeah. at the door. Okay. Um, how convenient. What a Excellent. great moment to break on. <coughs>
back on. Okay. Two six. Literally just bought this because I was watching Parks of Rec and he kept on going with it. Oh yeah. It's Ron Swanson's. Is that his one? Yeah. I love Parks of Rec. Yeah. Such a good show. Well, it's not yeah. just him, it's the actor as well, because he raves about it in all of his interviews and shit. Oh, really? Yeah. It's, um, it's peachy. <laughs> Try, uh, it's called Coal Eela, spelt Coal Eela. Mm. Well, I think it's a little bit less peaty. I like it. This one. Ardberg. Less peaty. Ardberg I really like, and that's giving me mad Ardberg vibes. Ardberg is a lot less peaty than that. Yeah. Think of we out. What do you mean by peaty? Smoky. Ah, oh, right. Try that. Oh, smell it, eh? The Brook Laddie one that I've um, brought in the tall black bottle is the uh, current world's PTS oh, yeah. world's PTS whiskey. That's real smoky, yeah. yeah. Uh, Lafroyga Megavu, then you know, close seconds. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got something stuck in my teeth. I just managed to pull it out. <laughs> Sorry. Um, gentlemen, gentlemen, are you okay? What was the result of my spell, by the way? What was your spell? Sorry? Detect good Oh, detect good evil. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Remind me of that. Come outside. <laughs> Clang bursts into flames. <laughs> overheating, overheating. <laughs> Put unit in cooler area. Problem is, <laughs> casting a spell directly on it, he'd know, right? I think this is an area effect spell, but he, he should know that like usually it has like a I don't know what it has like a verbal or semantic. Um, he just cost. doesn't go. Ding. It might just be like. Detecting <laughs> 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 like. Uh, gentlemen, gentlemen, so good to see you. You're all refreshed. Where? Where are your colleagues? Are they are they still sleeping? They retired to the pub last night. Oh, uh, which which pub? Uh, the name uh, Blue Dragon. They are slowly moving away. The yeah. other Blue Water <laughs> Inn, I believe. <coughs> I'm just I'm just moving now. Okay, so okay, just stop. Right. <laughs> it's shit happening. <laughs> Uh, Blue Water Inn. Oh, the Blue Water Inn. Oh, Danica and Irwin. What a lovely couple. They are spectacular hosts. You will find yourselves very comfortable there. Have you considered my offer for joining myself and Lady Vakta for dinner? Perhaps tonight. Uh, we, I believe the father is planning a mass tonight. In, in, Father in Lucien. Your, in, in your honour. In my honour, he sort of chops up at that. <laughs> I see it. And what indeed for? Oh, for your good deeds. This last night. I was saving your metallic and skinny asses. It was my pleasure. I saw a kerfuffle, and uh, of course, uh, having met you, and uh, you are of course friends of uh, esteemed Madame Eva. Um, it was almost my duty bound to support you. Duncan, you sorry, are... the spell description does say I know where it's located as well. <laughs> <laughs> as well as where the creature is located.
Okay. <laughs> My rules lawyer has got back to me. That's cool. Okay. <coughs> we'll come back to you. All right. Sorry, Nick, what was Cub saying? Uh, I think we left off at the mast that was being flown. The mast, yes. Oh, indeed. What a, what a delightful event. Um, I... Unfortunately, I must leave town today, but otherwise I would have loved to, excuse me, dropped on by and uh, attended with Father Lucien. It's been such a while since I've been to church here to thank the Morning Lord for our wonderful and most beautiful Barovia that we have. Although it's at times, and the, he sort of looks as a raindrop falls and um, splatters in between you on the dirt. Um, well, hmm. Um, I have this for Father Lucian, and he presents a bag. Indeed, I'll grab the whole of it. Huh? It's a canvassy bag, mm. about yay size, and it sort of clanks a little, you know, calcium-ish, mm -hmm. as he hands it to you. I bid you good day. Uh, please do consider. I, I shall speak to Lady Vokta today and her assistant. Um, fuck, wait. I'm sorry, Lord Vasily, you invited us to dinner tonight. I thought that. And, and yet you intend to leave town tonight. Ernst! Sorry, <laughs> just finished the sentence. <laughs> um, Lady Vokta's assistant Ernst will no doubt uh, meet with you or speak with you during the day. It'd be my pleasure to uh, to have you uh, this evening for dinner with Lady uh, Lady Vokta. I'm sorry, Lord Vasily, you invite us to dinner. And, yes, yes, I should have returned late. Uh, they tend to run their masses at dusk. I shall be there in the evening. Is there some... I understand you're... I must man. attend to business. Do you need our assistance Chris. with this business? Uh, no, not at all. Okay. Right. Please hurry these along to Lucian. Um, and he would know what these are? No, I think he will. And uh, with that he sort of abruptly turns and walks off. Clank, come with me, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Rules lawyering. <laughs> Cosmon had psychic whispers. He would fuck with people so much. <laughs> he was so tempted to just go. Psychic whispers were silly. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so, what did the silly give you? Okay. I just said calcium ish. I assume he means bones, but I was not the one to look into someone else's. Right. So you're retreating further back into the church? Uh, no, in fact, actually, given the rules, lawyer in Clank wouldn't have moved. Oh, okay. I just stayed there. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, what have we done? Socket disconnected, yeah, I'm, and now I can't reload the map. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> Did it just happen? Yep. Hmm, crashed. Interesting. I'm waiting for version 5. Anyway, I haven't checked whether this has been updated at all, but there we go. are you we're back? back? And yep. we're back, yep, yep. Hmm. Um, so Vasily uh, takes himself off. And disappears into the nether. So hold, hold hold up. If you wouldn't have moved, would you have been there for that encounter? Therefore, would you have said anything? No. Okay. <laughs> and uh, the lady has gone from one door to the other across there. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Uh, so bad news, guys. 
Uh, Bacilli's undead. Um, and what's in the bag is worthless. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I had suspected. Well, that's what we'd all suspected. Now we have confirmation. Uh, the unfortunate thing is the father will not believe you. Uh, let's go and have that conversation anyway, just see. Okay. Uh, hey father, come downstairs. He's going to really appreciate <laughs> that. He enjoyed it so much the first time. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I was like, he's not going to hear you from the all right. <laughs> Um, just Father his, Lucian, his where's his mini ears? He must He's on the table. Ah, right. Stick him over there. He's just come down the stairs. No, on the other side. Yeah. Thank you. He's uh, muttering into his prayer book. directly to his head. <laughs> Maybe he's cast a spell magic on himself to get rid of it. I don't think there is one. But they can just ignore. True. Can I just quickly grab the shy box? I think you guys have. Just want to make sure you've got. Prayers of the Morning Lord? Yeah, the Prayers of the Morning Lord? Yeah. You do. Yep, here we go. Yes. So, yeah, Father Lucian is um, is reading from the uh, prayers of the Morning Lord, which you guys have a copy. Prayer book of the Morning Lord, which you clearly fucked up. In. So, beloved Dawnbringer, I thank you for this new day. Filled as ever with doubt, your light and love. The sun washes over the lamb, and the remainder of the night is gone. And the sun, and so he's he muttering this as he's come down the stairs. And uh, hope ends with the morning breeze. Guide me to those who need my help, whether in word or deed. I'm assuming you told that out. I wish I yeah, was still I in fucking bed, but this is fucking too yeah. early. <laughs> and then misery and pain, and to seek and stamp out the evil of this world. Let each act be undertaken in your name, and the herald of the new again. beginning, uh, you welcome us back again. to bed. Father Lucian. Oh, you're still here. Yeah, so we were uh, we were just discussing. Um, uh, oh, machine man, how are you? Fantastic, thanks do very you, much. Do you? Uh, yes, I have so many questions. Perhaps one day we could sit and talk. Sure. Can I start with a question for you? No, of course the, you can, my good does, man. Does the morning lord grant you spells when you pray to him? And the morning lord indeed does bestow upon me. So you're familiar, Insights. you're familiar with the Detect Good and Evil spell then? Oh yes, yes, I've read 5th edition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I've just been, we've just been having a conversation with uh, Vasily von Holt on the oh, steps good, of the church. Oh good grief, you have worked so quickly, you have beaten me too. How is young? And he sort of starts to look out the So, uh, as a result of me... Oh Vasily, Vasily, he calls. As he sort of uh, postures himself to be able to see through the door. Um, um, I put a hand on his chest to stop him and go, <coughs> Father, I've just cast Detect Evil on, on Vasily. He is undead. What, what do you mean? You know what I mean. There can be no doubt. You are mistaken. You are but a machine, and uh, clearly your uh, programming is faulty. There's a zero and there was a one. I don't know. That is can, cannot possibly be. Aaron, would you? How like could he be undead? And uh, would you like to escort the Lady Irina upstairs? So she may have forgotten some items in her room. Um, I am fine, oh, yes. she says. So I believe. What do you I, mean, Vasily is undead? I believe I saw some items. You may wish to go upstairs with them. 
I mean, just remember your station. You're here to protect me and to deliver me safely to Baron Vargas, and then when my uh, brother arrives. Machine. Clank, it is. Yes. Old beard's a little dented. And how are you, my darling? And she rubs a little bit of, <laughs> a little bit of your dent. Just a little to the left. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but there's something about your mechanical apparatus that just sends a shiver through me. It's all if I have had enough of these games, and I empty out the bag of presumably bones on the ground. The bones! The bones! And, this and Father Lucian drops to his knees and begins to gather the bones together. <gasps> oh! I knew it! You were all wrong! You misjudged him! He has delivered the bones to us! It was indeed Vasily who not only saved you, but saved our church! Oh, the morning lord! And he begins to... Father, you're deluding yourself. These are not the bones. These are junk. It's not the case. Not the case. And he sort of picks up and you can see he looks at the bones and he sort of... Mm. And puts, starts putting him in the bag. Um, and he sort of stands up and he says, I shall, re I, I shall place these in the crypt immediately. Good day to you. And I shall endeavour to see you this evening. I do not believe that this should be necessary. It has been clearly proven that Vasily is done dead and these bones are worth nothing. Lady Lucian Irina, is just basically walking <clears throat> away. Lady Irina, this man is delusional. We should not stay here. There, there is nothing to gain from remaining here. We thank him for I could just fuck with Ronan to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Ronan's going to have something to do. <laughs> he deserved the thanks that we gave him for shelter last night, but let's not concern ourselves with it anymore. Indeed, I do not believe you were, would be safe here. So, As you enter on the street, um, you can see that there's a, a number of people... Um, sort of uh beginning to uh you know make make their morning um and uh sorry just let me quickly get you the map you are a sinner <laughs> <laughs> repent <laughs> this <form. laughs> Uh, it doesn't really say. Disrobe and prostrate yourself. <laughs> See, this is why it's good Calderon does not have this power. <laughs> the Lord touched you. Yeah. She'll be freaking out with the fact that it's like there's a lot of information that just got like dropped on her. Kind of knowledge is power. Okay. That is what I've been saying, but you know. <coughs> ah! What is going on with my fucking app? This has been like rock solid my entire life and not so much now. It must be our fault. Sorry. I might just re. I might just restart. Yeah, my, everything uh, is. Writing is chicken scratch. Oh, sorry, so is mine. Everything, 
is actually quite. Um, Should compare accountants to like doctors for business. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like chicken scratch is fine. Yeah. Me? Is that it? Holy shit, that's like really bad. Okay. Um, let's upscale that. No, it doesn't seem to be making a difference. Okay. Slight difference. Um, Just keeping David up to date on what's going on. All right. Alright, I don't know what I can do there, but I shall give it a go. Right, so you guys are currently standing outside the, the church. church. Just here, isn't it? Do you want these yeah. ones back? Um, yeah. Okay. I'll just use them very nice. Yeah, as the token. Um, yeah, use Arena for the party. Roll Basili? Ah, yes, thank you. Um, bum, bum, bum. So, like that, like that. It's cool, isn't it? Yes, no. She might just be fat. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? <laughs> I had a big lunch. <laughs> How did you go to my food? That was before her ablutions. <laughs> <laughs> she came out and whoop, do not go in there. <laughs> yeah. Was a war crime committed. <laughs> Been drinking from the toilet all the time, I might have been killed. <laughs> <laughs> well, at mm. least cast some good protect to him and he will also confirm that Arena is still alive. <laughs> yep, true. She's and that each of us board. is still fine. <laughs> okay, alright, I finally got the party. I'm not quite sure what's been going on, but. I can, yeah, I think my map is completely fucking. Mm. Alright, that's really why. Pardon me. Alright. Yeah, okay. I shall fix it later, but that is essentially so you've got the blue water, uh, sorry, the blue water in is here. Yep. 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 Um, We're making our way downtown. The stockyards, etc., are back down here. Yep. Um, and uh, coffin yeah. makers was just there, was it? Uh, no, actually, the coffin makers the stockyards is just. Let me. Actually, I'll just readjust that for you. Woo. All right. Uh, so uh, yeah, coffin makers was here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, Blue Water Inn. What was the purple shop? I think or, we, um... No, so Coffin Makers, Blue Water Inn, oh, yeah. and church the church. church. Where, yeah. where was the herbalist shop? I think that got down as well. Um, that was um, around... So this is the sort of... That's the stockyards. This is all the sort of... That's the town square here. Mm -hmm. So this is the sort of major commerce area. That seems to stick to that for some reason. Um, commerce area is around here. Um, yes, there was there was a herbalist. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I've got blow up maps for each quadrant of the yep, of, sure. of interest, but I just thought I'd show you a quick uh, quick overview map. A herbalist just old timey dispensaries or yeah, big time. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, so you guys now are heading back. Um, of note without any kind of requirement for a roll. Um, of note, you realize that um, 
as you make your way back to um, the Blue Water Inn, um, you know, you are passing a number of sort of stores and shops and that sort of thing. Um, and uh, as, you, as you make your way, you realize that there's not too many people up, but you definitely have no sight of the silly. Hmm. So, put yourselves at the Blue Water Inn, shift all that off, stick on our slabs, and uh, we're all back at fucking last after two and a half hours. Um, <laughs> the party is back together. Oh, Let's see how long that will last. <laughs> you probably only need the light, the bottom one at this stage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Just stick that one down. Thanks, Brian. Oh. Um, just a question regarding um, Aaron's psychic whispers thing that he uses. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really state whether or not um, you can disguise your voice or anything like that. So is it just like I'm talking to him? Would yeah, I be able just... to disguise your voice or? Yeah. Uh, no. No? Creative thinking, but no. So I can't <laughs> <miss the rest. laughs> In fact, you definitely can't disguise your voice. Okay. Um, because you're not using it. You're not using it. Can't mess with the priest. Speak no. telepathically. So unless you can like get like absolutely drunk and like <laughs> drunk telepathic thought him. <laughs> but then how good would the conversation be? I, I've always loved you. You're my lady, man. You're my lady. I died for you. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. How's that? Awesome. Yeah, many lights are. High pitch noise. <laughs> stage <laughs> lights in the room. <laughs> it's stage lighting. <laughs> and <Exit>. scene. <laughs> Exit. Stage lights. <laughs> so that's yeah, gone. So that's cool. Cool. Is he? Is he? Fine? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like he's. Looks like he's waving his axe, you know, in anger. <laughs> right. So at this particular point, before you guys arrive, you can stick yourselves in the uh, just outside the front door. Thank you, which you have. Um, we need to catch up a little with your conversation with Ricardo. Um, Bron, you're about the, you're through the third course. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Should he be making some sort of constitution saving throw so he can keep it all down? <laughs> what a great idea. <laughs> Bron, constitution saving throw. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> Ooh, that's not gone well. Ah, uh, Tim. <laughs> Ten. Yeah. See the our house? <laughs> yeah. Remember where that is. <laughs> okay. You're feeling a movement. <laughs> hey, can I just quick? Who's got inspiration tokens? Yep. One. Aaron and, does. That, yeah. Oh, Aaron, I Aaron should, does. Two. Yeah, I should have had. There should be one is, more. Yeah. There should be one more. Because I gave out three. Yeah. Was there one in? There wasn't the one in here. Was there one in the chest for Aaron? Um, I don't have his chest. Oh, his chest. Okay, so I assume it's in there. <laughs> so you don't have one. On do, you, do you have a physical one? No, I should have had one because you did give me one last time. But do you know where it's gone? Is it? Because I would have handed it out to you. I thought I'd put it back. Oh, oh no, no, no! You're right. I have got All it. right. No, I just want to make sure. Buried under stuff. Sorry. Yeah. And I've got two black ones, is yep. that right? There's There's a disinspiration ones. Yeah, ones. fantastic. Disinspiration. No, 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 no. That's a terrible thing that could possibly happen. <laughs> Demoralization. <laughs> um, so, let's go back. So, Gron, is there anything you want to do while this conversation now continues from where we last had the cutscene? Um, so, basically, with my furry kid, I am sort of just, as I'm eating, taking notice of the that Osron is talking to this weirdo in the corner. Um, haven't really thought too much about it. He's just sort of he's aware of the conversation that's happening. He's not listening in or anything like that. And he is planning once he does finish to probably eventually go make himself known. But at this point, just chowing down and just kind of watching to see if Cosron's body movements are of uh, like agitation or concern or if he's just looking normal. What what's he saying? 
Finger guns. How's your body move? What are your body movements doing? Just being relaxed. <coughs> Sitting there just talking to her. Okay, so let's go back to you and Ricardo. Mm -hmm. <coughs> he told you to go get some broth and then come oh, back. Okay. I take it, um, well, he, yeah, he did say go get broth and come back. I take it, I've got broth and I'm coming back to him now? Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, well, Ricardo, being a traveller of this area, where could I, uh, where would be the best place to find things for purchase? Sorry, sorry, please forgive me. Um, sorry, you were saying? I'm looking to make some purchases. I'd like to buy some supplies, perhaps some weapons. Where would I be able to locate this, this in this area? Indeed. I have that answer. Um, just one second. Well, of course, there's, uh, there are quite a, I must say, Valaki is probably the, the most, almost prosperous, if not um, familiar, of towns. What is it that you see? A number of things, mainly supplies, perhaps some magical items. Yeah. Magical items, I see. You wield the weave? Uh, when I must. You'll be sadly disappointed, I must admit. Uh, there is very little along the lines of the, the weave that uh, you might expect. Um, you could sort of potentially speak to Anya Trevor. Uh, she does run the, the uh, she calls herself the Third Eye Potions. Uh, it could be as close as you get. Um, yeah, so there's not too much. There's uh, there's Jenny the herbalist, but you'll find most of these uh, concoctions mundane to the likes of yourself who clearly weave the art. Let's see, um, apart from all that, have you heard any rumours or any strange ongoings in the town as you've been passing through? Oh my good, good sir, this is Valaki, it is full of strange rumours and gossip. For I must admit, I was foretold of your arrival uh, some days ago. But I am a most curious sort. Um, yes, I am unable to assist you with any advice around uh, items uh, entangled with the weave or any such things, but um, you will find uh, Wayland's. Um, yeah, it will probably be uh, most of your, uh, I guess, requirements. Uh, Wayland is a smithy of um, some exquisite uh, skill for where we are. So, yeah, now, where would he be located? Um, he is in town. You will find uh, he is uh, in the stockyards. Well, at this point, uh... I will uh, take your leave and I will um, go and speak with my companion. Oh, indeed. Oh! And he sort of looks. Oh, uh, uh, your friends are arriving, are they? Uh, have I, before they come through the door, does Grom come sprinting past the door, blasting through, sprinting his way to the outhouse? <laughs> 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 yes, he does. <laughs> Just as if you guys are about to touch the door handle, bang! <laughs> Roll a like, six sided <laughs> dice, let's see how that goes. A one or a two, you need some new pants. <laughs> oh! <laughs> one. Oh! <laughs> it's a number one, two. <laughs> Does he sort of go out like that? <laughs> no, in actual fact, it's a number one and a number two. Um, so. <laughs> Um, yeah, you're in a little bit of a distressful situation as the rest of the party comes in through the door. Um, as you, as you depart, um, you notice Ricardo picks back up his, uh, his notebook, sips again from his cup. 
Sneeze. picks up his quill. What's that smell? Oh yeah. It's just making it's just making room for more food, it's okay. <laughs> <And vomitorium. laughs> what was that um what is it? The uh, Austin Powers? Mm. Oh I don't remember eating a bit of corn. <laughs> <laughs> right, gentlemen. The party enters and you see uh, Grons running past you and <laughs> holding various aspects of his body. And as you enter, you see you see Crosron um, moving across back to a rather large table um, that has a fairly large spread of food and beer. It was, was, was Gron not hungry? <laughs> <laughs> I think Gron was too hungry. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure he'll be joining us soon. However, help yourself, he's paid for it all. <laughs> so we can go and sit down at the table, I guess. At this point, I do want to approach the bar to speak with Danica. Mm -hmm. Danica, last night, we were greeted by someone. Do you have any knowledge of the winged man? I beg your pardon? Um, I greeted you and organised food for you. When we were outside, we were greeted by a winged beast slash man. Who, shh, uh, shh. Hush your voice. We speak of this later. Yes, so I'll get you some broth. Yes, broth will be good. Excellent. Uh, return to your friends. It's good to see that you're all still alive. And she quickly runs into the kitchen and shuts the door. What was this about? When we approached last night, it was completely pitch black. And we went upstairs, started knocking on the door, and a giant winged man, slash monster, I can't remember who he was, approached us and let us in. And did you fight him? No. He allowed us in, in and then Danica met us afterwards. <clears throat> he seemed to be helping us, so I don't think he is our enemy. This is more help than we have. Oh, if you... We have not told you yet, but uh, this more the silly... Psychic whispers not, not relate to no, not, not that way about now. Ah. The moment I cast it on, oh. yeah. Lord Vasily is undead. Uh, the priest at the church is delusional. There is no. This sounds like the only ally we have found in this town. Can uh, I have the box of handouts, please? Turning to Irina, you do understand that it is not wise to visit Vasily. But he seems so lovely, and he has helped us. He has returned the bones, and from what I gather with your conversation, he has saved you last night. What is not to like about this man? Every rose. Despite his uh, chiselled, incredible, most gorgeous good looks. Every rose has its thorn, and... <laughs> <laughs> Every man has its thorn. <laughs> Like every cowboy seems to say, so, so, <laughs> so, <laughs> You guys think, oh shit, oh, No, no, that's alright. I'm just thinking I need to either, A, not wear pants, or have belts. Um, <laughs> please, please, please continue to wear pants. <laughs> <laughs> please continue to wear pants. Was he a raven man? He is like a big bird man, yeah. Because he, he was still like humanoid-ish. Big bird. Big, big bird. Man. Does yeah. anybody uh, remember this? No. I did not remember. <laughs> I like the town. So obviously this place is slightly protected. This is probably our only safe haven. He's a handsome fellow. That's Vasily. That's what Irina thinks. <laughs> <laughs> He's clearly evil. <laughs> He's got a 
say, if you want some of that, help yourself. No, I will mm. Okay. Is it darker? Would you believe we might have found them? Hmm. Well, I've just come to realise that this whole session, Grom is not eat. He's all he's done is eat and shit. So, <laughs> and remove himself from the party. So I think Grom's, you know, found his way back in. Found his way back in. Does the Ace Ventura do not go oh, into oh, my vision? <laughs> <laughs> Let Jesse have to remade it as well. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I think that's who the big bird man has to do with. I believe so. Mm. Because when did we get that again? We got that from the druid. Oh, that's right, yeah. See that again when you finished. He was there to deliver a message to around, and, yeah. to, and to test us. Yeah. Druid. Okay, yeah. Wait. Terror. Now, frankly, the druid is about the only honest person we've met so far. Yeah. <laughs> like. Literally, he didn't lie to us. He's like, here's your message. By the way, I've got to test you. Boys, sick him. Yeah. <laughs> He's basically Bron's best friend at this point. Yeah. <laughs> if we ever see him again. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a quick refresh. I'm gonna get some of these little lights just from my desk at home. They're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yes. <laughs> oh yes, the entire plot. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember what game we're playing. Gron is <laughs> 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 just walking in quite confused as to why people were, people is, were eating his food. Well then my other, the little light there is sort of flickering, I'm not sure. Oh there we go. It's having a one, one light disco. Yeah. yeah. Not sure what's going on there, but anyway. He's well, basically Grant's back to join him. Oh no! no! <laughs> She's excellent for vampires, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> basically, pocket sunlight. So, do we nice. arrive and you then you're having that conversation? No. He is walking away from the table. Yeah. Okay. Ron was so. racing to the dunny. So we didn't hear the conversation that you just no. had with the bowl lady. No, you didn't. Fine. Okay. Yeah. So perhaps if this person you met last night is indeed connected with this letter, Irina, it may be best that we attend this visit with the Baron that you have. It may, you may not be safe here in Valaki. What do you mean I'm not safe in Balaki? This is where my brother said I would be safe. This is the safest place in Barovia. He has not visited here for so long. That is a known fact. We must, after we break our fast, we must send word. One of you must go and seek Baron Vargas and make an appointment for me for today. Implore him to make time in his schedule to meet with me and treat with me, for I foreshadow my brother's arrival. If this is your wish. It is my wish. And you are engaged by my brother and our co my family coin to deliver me safely to Velaki. And uh, whilst you have done a magnificent job, and you, good Clank, have been spectacular and very shiny. Um, <laughs> Clank bells. <laughs> <laughs> your task is not yet done, and uh, delivering me into the safety of Baron Vargas is uh, what you have been tasked to do, essentially. This was not of. Um, this was. This was never a suggestion that you should not visit merely that we should perhaps go with you in a company well i think that is a good idea yet there's something <laughs> <laughs> there's something um... Being sweet. <laughs> <laughs> perhaps 
Perhaps you could um, take some of my brother's coin and um, splash it about your person and uh, less of the ruffian landed on our shores and shut your pants kind of feel <laughs> and more the esteemed uh, protectors and counsel of uh, someone of my station. Which, you know, frankly now that my dear father is <coughs> Hey, look, lady, these ruffians and shipwreckers got you all this way. So, how about some respect? And you, good sir, are much easier to respect with the clean breeches. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a point. She knows. <laughs> my lady, as far as I have lived well, I don't in the monastery, so on his robes. <laughs> Oh, all I know. <laughs> must... oh, my dear cub, and she lands a, a, a sort of soft hand on your chest and moves it very slowly in a circle. Um, she goes, I can tell that you've spent such a length of time in the monastery. There must be so much tension underneath these robes. Jeez, I do find your robes quite acceptable. I am, and she leans in and whispers, I am more concerned about your friends. Although the machine one is quite fine too. You should, whilst we escort you, you should escort us around these shops to instruct us as what would be the best. A shopping, what a wonderful idea. It shall be my pleasure. And, uh, hmm. shall, and at this particular point, as she's talking, Ricardo gets up. Closing his book and walks very slowly past your table to head upstairs. And he looks at each of you with a deep and inquisitive, I guess, um, appraisal. And even as he goes up the stairs, he's looking back at your table. And you see him quickly pull his book from his coat pocket again and open it in, as if prepared to write. God, I think the guy wants to fuck him. <laughs> no, I, I feel like he is a... He's, he's, he's only human. <laughs> I feel like he is a scholar. And he just wants information. A scholar or a spy? I don't feel that he is inept to be... or smart enough to be a spy. I feel he is much more inept to be writing notes in the open like that. I feel that he may just be noting for his own personal account. Could be a poet. Could be. So boys, what happened last night? How'd you get on at the uh, church? All good? Good nice kept? Cool. Were you out in the outhouse when we were telling them about Vasily being a... <coughs> yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, because he bursted through. Uh, yeah. So I was coming. Oh yeah, Vasily's up there. Who? <laughs> but Vanilla Von Horse, remember him? Oh, I fucking knew it. <laughs> I knew you couldn't trust him. You didn't believe me. Well, we've come round to your way of thinking now. You were right all along, Grond. I'm sorry for ever doubting you. Oh, this. <laughs> That's the first time he's ever heard that. <laughs> Who is that? Two young children run through um, gleefully um, from the kitchen area. Is that literally what they're wearing? That's yeah, very much. Furry. That was the um, family that runs the inn. Yeah. Um, there were definitely a lot of feather motifs going on yes. in that picture. You hear Danica, Brom Bray, be back within the hour. Two bells at the most. And they, they run outside. I'm going to look at Cosro and basically say to you, did you tell them about the bird man? I did. Mm -hmm. Weird. But he didn't good. hurt us, so. Did you tell us about your conversation with Annika as well? No, not yet. Oh. Um, I guess in um, our 
come close to that whole whisper. Mm -hmm. I spoke with the innkeep regarding the, the feathered man and they were very quick to keep us quiet but they said they would discuss with us later so I feel like he is well known and this, this inn is protected. Perhaps this is the safest place for us to stay. It certainly looks like it's got the best food. Not that I care, but you know, you guys need <clears throat> to keep chewing this stuff and turning it into stinky. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the meat bags. Isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> the meat bags. <laughs> the fleshies. <laughs> so that we can have the, the Baron, um, obviously we can attend the Baron with Irina. Mm -hmm. Um, my idea here is uh, Aaron. Tom's run speaking to Aaron, I guess. <laughs> um, would you go and see the Baron, let him know that we uh, are willing to attend, and from there we can decide what to do from there? Can you all roll perception checks, please? Um, Including Aaron. So, oh, Tom's got a 15. Fuck's sake. Uh, 24. Got a 6. And Aaron got an 18. 8 total. I'll leave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You come with me. <laughs> the only thing Grant's perceived is the shit in his hand. What's yours? 24. Oh, okay. Uh, 18. Uh, 18 and 15. <laughs> Aaron goes and does that psychic whisper, and then if anything happens, it will need to happen again. Eh? We'll need to happen again, probably. Yeah. If it wears off at like 11 43. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but I've got to cast it again with the psychic die. Mm -hmm. So I don't really want to be freaking the priest out. I kind of do, but. <laughs> so I'm a little confused on what our next play is going to be here. We obviously need to meet the Baron. Tonight, but we also want to have a conversation with these dudes. Shopping. Oh, I'm fucking yeah, shopping. That's why I think if Aaron goes and does that, we need Aaron needs to get new clothes too. Yeah. The only ones that probably don't need new clothes would be Cub and Clank. Was Clank even weird clothes? Not really. Aaron doesn't need new clothes, does he? Well. Arena was saying that everyone, basically us too. I get some new PJs. <laughs> Off to Peter Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> smells a lot like vanilla, which is <laughs> true and grown on horse. Whoever I'm sat before next to. Cos, uh, that's Cosron. Yeah. yeah. Right yeah. next to Harry. Oh, yeah. thanks for that. Yes. Yeah, Clank's there. Who's that? Cosron. Cosron, yeah. yeah. Behind Cosron, you hear it. Gentlemen. What? Can you not see we're busy? Can you just I'll, feeding I'll, more food into us now. Mm -hmm. I'll stand here because okay. that, that's the. Angle. That's the position. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you see a rather well dressed gentleman, mostly in black, a white cravat. See how I do that? Yeah. <laughs> another, another beer, please. Thank you. And I'm not here to deliver you a beer, but I am indeed here to deliver you an invitation. What is your name? Hang on. It's like something like that. Take a moment amongst yourselves. <laughs> this is the problem with not getting the fucking time to prepare properly today. It's knife on the side. I've got Mira's birthday invitation.
by the way, I am here the whole of March because Rachel is not leaving until April, so oh, well, that's great. Whatever the next date is, I can do. She's given me the dates for April as well, so I'll let you know near at the time. Is that showing on there? No. No, just the kids. Just the, the family. I fucking printed this. I have fucking no idea where it is. This is really annoying. My apologies, guys. Just two secs. Take a toilet break. Sure, I fucking printed this out and I have no idea where I put it. Part of that penny in that pile in there? Part Sorry? The handle? No. A bunch of stuff that no. I don't know. Drop it as an attachment in the Discord channel? No, no, I'm printing it. Oh, okay. I even printed it on fucking like paper. My missus is cursing herself because she's lost the receipt that she um, got from the Tagoya shop where she bought her and I've had to get service. Oh no, she's like, I don't think they're going to claim that like, they never got it, but I have no idea what I did with the bloody receipt they gave me. <laughs> <laughs> uh. When everyone comes back on my very expensive watches, I would totally lose them or smash them. Well, I've, I've bought when I turned 40, I bought myself a nice watch. And then, um... I, I, every time, I, I like looking at them, and there's been a number of times when I've come very close to buying them, but every time I just think to myself, the number of watches that I have managed to break, I just think, I, you know, there's no point in me spending the money on it because I would just ruin it. Plus you get scratches on things all the time if you're like married. I am, like, I'm so clumsy. I have no idea actually how long, how this has survived as long as it has. This is like five right. years old now. I but I, have, I catch them on door handles and yeah. all sorts of things and I've just, you know, smashed the faces on it. I just think if I, you know, went out and bought myself like a, you know, brightening or something, it'd last about three weeks, yeah. and then well, I'd, I'd annihilate it. Just, yeah. Had I thought about this earlier, <laughs> at inspiration, I would have realised I actually had it here. Um, so I don't need that. I just want to say, I'm like, never wear my watch anyway. Not one of you finds in this bed. This is annoying as well because I bought it in the UK. The map function on it is useless in Australia. It only contains maps for Europe. Oh. If you know, and Are you no, kidding and there, me? And there's no way to fix that. The only way to fix it is to buy a Garmin locally, and then that has the maps for you know that oh, corner of the world. That's really shit. 
That is really shit. I don't quite understand it either. I bought this off the back of reading some article that like the US Air Force basically gives these to all of their pilots now, you know, and the, you know, in case they're down, then they can navigate their way out. And I'm like, how? It, it's only got like a third of the world's <laughs> maps on it. Yeah, is there a mic, a mic for this TV? I can just have to turn off. Oh yeah, there, yeah, there is. Because that Garmin is it? Yeah. yeah. Got a Garmin, but it's much smaller. What's going on? This is the Garmin Phoenix 6X yeah. Pro. Sorry about that. I completely forgot. I've got a whole extra. No, and I did print it out. I knew I could print it there? out. It, no, I... it was in the cupboard in a no, separate no. folder, which I forgot to get out in my rush this afternoon. Um, so where were we up to? So this uh, sort so of. The, so he's quite box. frail. He's a little short. Um. So, Half when I say he's not frail, he's skinny. Half Ryry. Ryry. No, he's not that short. He's, he's, he kind of looks like he's got a bit of elf in him. Um, he's a little Ryry. And, uh, and a little bit short, you said. Yeah. Yeah, like, he, so not, not short, short, but like. Five foot or something. Yeah. yeah. Short for the elf in him, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, and he's standing there. And he looks a little bit disconcerted. I wink at him. Just like a he looks blinker. Even more disconcerted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, over here. it's just you know, the light that goes sweeping across the just goes out when it goes yeah. to this side. <laughs> morning to you all. Good morning. My mistress has instructed me to deliver this to you. Who is your mistress? <laughs> Doesn't want to pass it to Craig. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, he disappears. Except you see him sort of like. <laughs> it's like he's trying really hard for the fucking turn up and then disappear trick. But you're all over him, so yeah. I, pr I, I pretend I can't see him anymore, just to try and make him feel better. <laughs> Don't untie where, it, just slide it off, slide where it off. Where do you go? Fuck me, if you untie it, I'll be fucking, it'll be six hours of me trying to redo a fucking knot. Pass me the string. Where's the army? Have you found your That's what I have sergeants for. I'm a fucking, I'm a fucking colonel. <laughs> do you think I do knots? <laughs> Jesus. When I was a soldier, I did not, but that was like <laughs> fucking 37 years ago. It's delegation, accountability. <laughs> <laughs> what was that thing where it's like the, um, it's like when they look up, all they see is assholes. When they look down, all they see is shitheads. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Lady Vodka. She was the, the wife. So this is Vasily's invite. Oh, right, right, right. Thick. Who? Irina pipes up. Who, who is that? What's it say? Dear Clank. To the esteemed travellers, your presence is cordially requested at the residence of Lady Fiona Vachta, for an evening of refined conversation and delectable Oh, that sounds wonderful! Join us to celebrate the rich history and vibrant future of our beloved Balaki. Date, the Eve of St. Andrew's Feast. Time, two hours past sunset. Venue, Watchtower Vakta House, the domicile of the Vakta family. Please present this invitation at the gate. Attire is formal as befits the occasion. No oh, shame. We eagerly anticipate the honours of your company and the sharing of stories and insights from beyond our borders. Yours in hospitality, Lady Fiona Vakta. P.S. Discretion is appreciated as the nature of our gathering is selective and the company, though diverse, is united in the pursuit of a brighter dawn for Vallaki. Oh. Remind me, who was this lady? What, 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 uh, what, what, is that tonight? I don't know. When is the Feast of St. Andrew? Well, that's a very good question. When is the Feast of St. Andrew? 
Do was, we... it, was it in the prayer book? No. It it, was is the... that Irina? Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. <laughs> just, just making sure there's not some random. Wasn't there, there. Another, no. <laughs> there another? Wasn't there another pamphlet for a face or something? Yeah. That's... That we got. Prayer book. Well, it might be in the bar, that's what it was. That's the end of the end of the end of the end of the I don't recall anything okay. on us actually. Well, I'm not going back to the fucking church to find out. <laughs> no. Do you want this to do back? Yes, please. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, remind me, the lady, um, Bakhtar was... Vasilis. I don't... Do we have no idea. Bakhtar. What's Vasilis last night? Bakhtar. 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 But I feel like we don't we know any from the I feel like he did say. Talking about the vanilla, right? <laughs> yeah, I do feel like he said Lady Marta. Yeah. yeah. Well, so that's a firm no from me then. <laughs> so I count formal as uh, see me wipe shit hands. And I'm ready. What do you think of this Irina? <laughs> Irina? I love the sound of a dinner, but um, I, I'm a little unsure as when it is. Uh, was it this evening, or what, what did it say? St. Andrew's Feast. The Eve of St. Andrew's Feast. However, I might note, I do not believe you are invited. We have been referred to as the, as the travellers. Oh, clearly I'm invited. It is just, it would be, it would be a travesty of uh, politeness if I was not uh, escorted by my esteemed travellers. Clearly they anticipate that I will arrive. Ron's going to yell out to um, the lady from the bar. When's uh, St. Andrew's Feast? <laughs> she turns to you. With a look of absolute fucking horror. <laughs> As if you've actually just jumped up on the table and fucking done the second run. <laughs> <laughs> she turns to you and she like. <laughs> I, I, I go over. Okay, let's go over. <laughs> I feel like while I admire Grom's permanent enthusiasm for everything, there are some lessons to be learned in subtlety. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not one of his strong points. No, this is in character. Yeah, yeah. this is in character too. Okay, um, uh, it's not one of your strong points, but I think I think you can build on a strong foundation and work up to it. Well, is there anything wrong with St. Angel's Feast? I don't know that there's we anything have wrong with here. saying it, but this I think yelling fourth. it in the middle of a crowded bar. This oh, is the there's only one other it? Especially when the invite especially said, be discreet. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> Look, I've got shit in my pants. I've got bigger <laughs> things to worry about right now. <laughs> is that what the smell <laughs> <laughs> I thought you had acquired a new aroma. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could go outside and find you a nearby horse trough to uh, clean up in. So don't you have prestige? Doesn't someone have prestige station? Um, no, thaumaturgy. It's a. That's a. You would only have thaumaturgy. No, you won't. You don't have create. Was it create water? I do have create water. Do you want me to just create it in your pants? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that a first level spell? Are you going to burn on him? Like clean him up? 
fucking could roll around in a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> You shit yourself and then oh, be like sh shape water is a cantrip so well, I mean okay. there's probably a bit of water in there <laughs> liquid anyway <laughs> shape water from the dunny <laughs> <laughs> hey pee is mostly water okay yeah Have you to mate, you don't want me to do create water you'll be basically deluged it's a 30 foot cube <laughs> Basically, like dropping a three story building on you. <laughs> you could just create it on the ground and you could be swimming. <laughs> We're gonna I buy just, new clothes. I just, anyway. I, just, I just feel like, are we? Why are we gonna buy new clothes? Well, we have to go to the. Well, Irina wanted us to buy new clothes to go see the Baron. Yeah, we. Okay, right. We really need that. Well, I mean, that's not gonna work for me. But... Well, well, for you and me, are they the ones that apparently don't need new clothes? Okay. That's kind of good because I don't really wear them. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to need some new pants at least. Um, I feel like I need a better cantrip for this campaign. Toll the Dead is just not going to work. I thought it was J. Hmm? Oh, it's Dragon Ball. Sorry. Oh. I thought it was a J. Oh, right. It does look like a J. Yeah. Grond, we need to stay quiet. As I've just said to these guys, as Clank said to me, I need to learn some work and subtlety, and I said to Clank, um, I've got shit in my pants, I've got better things to worry about right now. <laughs> We're just trying to convince him to go and uh, find a horse drop outside. <laughs> but, yes, I can. I'm now... I mean, take a sandwich with you. Just, yeah. you know. And I mean, and a, and a mug of ale, and just you know, mm -hmm. sit in the trough, have a bath, all over around. Yeah. yeah. Shall we head out to the shops? I, you, think, I you, think we should. Did you at least get an answer? I think we should uh, continue this conversation elsewhere. Okay. All right. Well, Irina, would you take us to if you know of any? Do we have rooms here? Wares? We do. Well, I would like to leave my satchel and. Perhaps my sword and shiny armour. Not as shiny as yours, Sir Clink. <laughs> Perhaps you could polish it later. My breastplate is in need. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess I'll approach Dan Danico again. Um, can we obtain lodgings for the next evening? If you take on board what I said. Yes. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> we will. I have your word. You have our word. Then yes, pay. So how much for all of us for the next evening? And how many of you do you think will make the day? Mm. Seven. Is it a threat? Seven? What is the seven? Three. <laughs> six. <laughs> six. Ron might be lucky. <laughs> there are six of us. I, I just imagine Gron's approach is here now. Does this smell of chloroform to you? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, like his, this. His, best, his best chat up line. Don't struggle. <laughs> and this is all while he's got shit in his mess. Do we need. That was ten per... Three gold. Three gold? Thirty silver. Whichever you can afford. Ooh, there is four gold. Along with our word. I'm going to ask the lady as well if she's got somewhere I can wash up. <laughs> and she may need a new house. And do you have pants for this man? <laughs> Three silver, and there's a bathroom outside, down to the right, around to the right, and the first door. Not the second door, the first door. But I'll take your money first. Thank you very much. There's a gold coin. 
Oh, indeed, and I'll fix some britches for you. Oh. And she gives you a bit of a size up, and she goes, oh. Extra small. Long, but extra small. <laughs> you beat me to it! <laughs> he says he's going to uh, make sure So the, I think that, that should be, there should be a bathroom. Yeah. Yep, yeah. cool. Oh, okay. oh, hang on, sorry, where's the sh- bath? This, there's a bath in this one. Oh. That's the one she said not to go into. Oh, uh, that's the got a toilet. Yeah, the dunny's that one, plus there's an outdoor dunny. I'm just picturing that. But there's a bar, there's a washroom. Is that, the middle room should be the washroom? Yeah, that's yeah. got the bath cool. He's okay. in the bath now. He's let us right, let's get a picture of you in the bath. He's, he's got the bath. Okay. We'll put that on bubbles. TikTok. That'll be bloody... He's got the rubber ducky. Some of the cameras everywhere. Ron sitting there frantically walking shit out of his pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Serene chunks. <laughs> oh, now there's shit in the bath. <laughs> Just getting more and more angry by doing that. <laughs> Why didn't I bath first then wash my fridge? <laughs> Why did I wash it first? <laughs> um, right. So, you're bathing. That's going to be about 30 minutes. By the time you scrub. Uh, <laughs> while it does that. What are you guys doing? Yeah. Can I spend an hour to attune to this ring of protection? Um, Irene is dropping off her whatever. Okay, yeah. She probably needs to touch up on more paint and shit anyway. Clank, what are you doing? Um, I think I'll probably just hang out in the bar. Okay, I'll come back to you. What are you doing? What's Clank doing? Spending time with, um, uh... Scrubbing... Yeah. Clank. Scrubbing Gron. I need a hand! I can't reach, my ass is too fat! <laughs> Staying with Clank. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I presume I can see like upstairs where the room was, so yeah, yeah. this thing was clank. Okay. Where are you attuning? But obviously back in your room? Yeah. Yeah, so shift your token out, just stick it to the side. Mm. Yeah. Oh, and Aaron? Uh, and Aaron, what's Aaron doing? Good point. She went upstairs to drop her shit off, didn't she? No, Aaron, not Aaron. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Aaron, didn't Aaron go off to. Oh, he's no, gone, no, no, no. We just talked about it, yeah. yeah. I think we should wait on that aspect. Erin um, yeah. is just sitting at the table eating what's left of Gron's food. Okay. So I don't think he has rituals or anything. You hear her. Coming down the stairs. None of us here would have actually heard that sound before. So this would be new to us. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, you've heard it now. Yeah, looking up. And gentlemen, um, comes down the stairs with a walking stick. He has a brown satchel under his arm. And he looks at you and he goes... Would you like to join us? Are you friends of Cosron? Yes. Where has Cosron gone? He's retired to his room for a moment. Ah, I see. Would you like to sit? Ah, no, I must... uh, I must attend, and he sort of grabs his, um, his satchel. Is there something of importance? You need yes. assistance? Yes, I must uh, check on uh, my wagon. I bid you a fine day. Don't let this rain dampen your spirits. And he shuffles away and pulls a hood over. <coughs> Excuse me. And exits the tavern, the blue water in. Those are getting dim quite quickly, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just disappointing. <laughs> but, you know. <laughs> it's right. not, not so dim you run it in your face, though. <laughs> <laughs> About I would kind of hope they'd last a couple of games for the cost of them, but you know, 
I guess I could always buy batteries, which is probably going to be more expensive than the fucking thing in the first place, because that's the way it goes. Right, so. Has Grond finished yeah. in the bathroom, or was still... So those of you still in the, um, in the bar, is there anything you'd like to do? I think there's things to discuss, but this isn't the place to discuss them, so, uh, I think we are due to, as the Lady Irina has so eloquently put it, we must acquire new clothes for oh. looking at Aaron and then the others. <laughs> <laughs> in <Ron's> direction. <laughs> <laughs> Gesturing to the sounds coming from the bathroom. Uh, and does, does anyone else think he sounds like he's murdering something? <laughs> <laughs> we did the outhouse earlier. <laughs> I do not believe we have any other choice than to attend the Baron. Who, who else is in the bar at the moment besides us and the bar? Um, at this bar particular staff? point, there's only some gentleman who has finished his broth, who's been there all morning, um, and he now is just sort of like trying not to look at you. Was it him that I asked him if he had a problem? Or was it yes, him? that's him. Yeah. <laughs> Which we don't know. It's <laughs> another person who comes me about. We have no option, but I do not believe we have any other option other than to attend with Lady Arena to the Baron. Uh, you just want to go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Get in bitches, we're going shopping. <laughs> um, Are you a Swifty? No. <laughs> <laughs> so when, when I had to fly to Melbourne, yeah. right? I just did a quick scan just to see what it was going to cost for the organisation, you know, for Defence to send me. And I just looked on corners, and it was like $189 down, like a ready deal, that's the cheapest, and $900 return. What? Holy shit. $900 what return. What the fuck? Yeah, Taylor Swift. Clearly, obviously, because when, oh, when uh, admin, admin O booked it for me, she, like, the whole the return flight was 673 So, like, yeah, obviously Defence have a contract, so, you know. But, like, I was just thinking, holy fuck. Because like it was looking like it was cheaper for me to have to stay the night, which I didn't want to do, and fly fly back in the morning mm. because of all the Swifties no, flying out like of Melbourne, flying yeah. to like Brisbane or something. Oh, flying out of Melbourne. Where yeah, so out that's of that's how so much I know about. I thought it was like here in Brisbane, which is why it was like oh, yeah, expensive to come to Brisbane. Yeah, no. Yeah, out of, out of Melbourne on Tuesday she's, night or she's Tuesday Melbourne afternoon. And she did Sydney as well. I, I have no idea. I think. And she did Melbourne because the wife's um, friends all went to it. Cost okay. them an absolute fortune. Yeah, one of, the, one of the guys at work was complaining how much it cost him to send his daughter down there. Like, out of, you know, flights, hotel, and the tickets for the concert, he's out like three, three and a half thousand dollars. Oh, Holy fuck. Yeah. I don't get it. Like, he said, yeah. he, he's, he's, when she asked him about it, he, he said, yeah, you can go. Don't ask me for anything else for the next three years. <laughs> and well, we've got Alice Cooper um, and all those other bands coming to Brisbane soon, which will be fantastic. <coughs> Alice yeah, Alice Cooper. Yeah. Fuck me. How well, about Alice Cooper? Alice Cooper, okay. Psychedelic Furs, there's like a heap of really... Tenacious D is coming. Oh, yeah. Tenacious D! Yeah, oh, already bought tickets. Nice. Yeah. We saw them in Vegas and they're fucking awesome. Yeah. Alright, so, what do you guys want to do? Are you um, gonna... I'm going to approach the barmaid <laughs> once again. She's... Oh, this is... Yeah, she was sick with Buzz Ron as Aaron. Are you approaching as Aaron? Yep. Yeah. Buzz Ron's up there doing his ritual. Yeah. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> He's, he's, he's doing his ritual with his ring. <laughs> <laughs> and you, don't, you, don't, you don't wear it there. <laughs> so Aaron's gonna insert here. Approach. Um, I keep forgetting. Is it Danica? Yes, Danica. Yeah. Do you have any messengers or anything of the like that we could send word to the Baron? What do you want to see the Baron for? We have been charged to take the Lady Irina she to, the Baron. Mm. to the Baron. Um, we simply would like to make it known that we are here. And we do not the... associate with the Baron. I see. But uh, 
Burgermaster Hall is uh, is open to all. I suggest in maybe two bells you attend and seek an audience. I see. Okay. Um, could I have a word? <laughs> yes. With you're not there. No. With your colleagues. Yes, I guess I'm why I'm... She looks towards the kitchen and she sort of moves there and just pulls the door shut, like make sure it's shut. And she scurries quickly to your table and she sits down. This is a delicate matter. I find you quite intriguing, to be honest. You particularly. <laughs> uh, I get that a lot. He's <laughs> here. Prime's like, next character is not a fucking wolf. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it would seem that you're going to be here for a while for what you mentioned before will come at some point in time. And, uh, we have uh, the festival of the Blazing Sun this uh, end of ten day. Only uh, maybe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what day is it? Four, five, six, uh, seven. Two days time. And I understand you must uh, introduce uh, Lady Irina to Vargas and I counsel you with caution in your interaction with him. He has the town's best interests at heart, but the practice is misplaced. Frankly, I speak from my heart, and you should not repeat that. Further, reason for this discreet conversation, whilst my husband is washing dishes and preparing for lunch, is that he is too embarrassed to discuss this matter, for he and his father have had a falling out. You see, wine is the lifeblood of this place, and not just Valaki, the entire Barovia. Those of us who have a deep heart, it helps us wash away the angst and the tears. And those of them with less heart it numbs what pain I guess they must feel. Both the sold and the soulless here do rely upon my good husband's family to produce the wine. And uh, he has grown concerned of late as we are now almost two full months behind delivery. What has been a regular bi-monthly delivery of wine has, dare I say, evaporated into dust. Could I employ you to take a couple of days to venture to my good husband's winery called, bizarrely, the Wizard of the Wine to investigate and perhaps return with wine. Otherwise, I dare say this entire town, if not this entire land, will fall into even more dark and despair chaos. I will speak on behalf of my husband and his father 
who they do not speak, I must admit. But if you could resume the deliveries, you will be well rewarded and may take respite here for as long as you need, at no charge. What do you say? I think your words are heartwarming and we would undertake this task for you even were it not for the gift of lodging here, speaking for myself. I agree. Thank you. I shall, um, I shall be a sick. And she, like, scurries away. And she returns. Okay, she opens the door, you can just hear, <laughs> kind of through the walls. Okay, so what have I done with the map? The map? Uh, ah, there it is. Nick, you are a legend. She returns with a sketch of Barovia. It seems strangely familiar. <laughs> does it look anything like this skin map? <laughs> yes. It does indeed. <laughs> oh, there's no light whatsoever. Is that it? Is that it? <laughs> oh, oh, god. Ah. oh god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That look! You know I love Tracy's Strong! Strong. Strong. <laughs> Actually, no, put it back on. Put it back on. <laughs> you are here. We're here in Falaki. If you Do travel, a U-turn. If you travel to the <laughs> west, Bear in mind, do not take to the south. Don't that is the south. Vistani encampment. Okay. Um, but if you take to the west, and then before you hit the lake, you turn uh, south here, to the southeast. And here, this vineyard here, is my good husband's family's winery. Please, it is not too far. Maybe a day of your time, a few hours, and please bring with you wine back, and uh, we'll be ever grateful. It's probably, we're probably pretty lucky that you're not there at the moment, because you'd be like, yes, wine! <laughs> <laughs> Very keen to undertake this. You are keen? Yeah. So I shall... So. I shall prepare. When, when will you depart? You Today? Are, you understand we must meet with the Baron. We should leave at first light of a day. I think so, yeah. It's, it's In the morn I shall prepare a hearty feast of dried wolf steak. Beet. Sounds delicious. And grey beet for your sustenance for the journey. Oh. In fact, please take your coin back and she reaches in and offers you your four gold back. Oh, you took it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Aaron would definitely take it. <laughs> yeah, Aaron would. Lady Danica, are you aware of more of Barovia than just the surroundings of Balaki? I am indeed. In my flight, in my travels of Balaki, I have... Uh, what is it that you seek? We were invited by the seer of the Vistani to take part in a card reading where she gave us some hints of our future. I have uh, heard, I have heard of this. Do you speak of Madame Eva? That's correct, yes. Um, and as a lot of what she said was rather oblique, especially to us as being strangers in... That is a Barovia. rather large word for such a metallic... Man. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and so I wondered whether Many or not... Many bows. I was wondering whether or not we could relate some of the information that she relayed to us and see whether or not you could shed any more light on, on some of the things she told us. She looks over her shoulder back towards the kitchen, sort of leans back. Quickly. 
Would the phrase behind amber doors mean anything particular to you? She thinks. Oh. The amber temple, perhaps? Famed in, uh, in its presence in uh, Mount Garcus? I am going to keep the conversation going, just making notes of this. Yeah, yeah, fair Amber enough. Temple. What was that, Mount? Mount Garkas, G H A K I S. Okay. Um, we were also referred to the location of a sleeping prince, a servant of light, and a brother of darkness. <gasps> Our assumption has been... Shh. Oh, okay. What is your assumption? Should we listen hard and see if we can hear what she hears? Huh? Didn't you just say, I, I heard something? No, I oh. said, shh. Oh. She said, shh. And then she whispered, what is your assumption? Oh. <laughs> we had heard that Strahd killed his brother. Sir Guy. Indeed. He lays at rest in the darkest depths of the castle. Okay, let's not go there first. What's the next thing? A pool blessed by the light of the white sun. Yes. That location means anything to you at all? Yeah. Has she still got that map with her or she put it away? No, she does, if Nick wants to get it, yeah. <laughs> um. I think it was just man-made, not woman-made. Sorry? <laughs> man-made, not woman-made. It's What's very that? specific for drug. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to being dog made or... I suppose it could be child made. Are you going to look and see if you can see anything on there that might be pools? He says, uh, well, of course, the man Garkas is here. Way down south, is there? Yeah. Actually, it says Mount Garkas on the map. So. Okay. So, um, way down south, and you all recall that you have actually seen it. Um, and uh, I'll just put the map of the world on for you. Um, so, if you just. Actually, you can probably um, pull the. Turn the lights off um, and um, and move that either to the side or off. Uh, do we want to take these <coughs> off in case? So, in your travels, you've seen Mark Garcus. So that's it's just, just yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Um, snow covered, fog covered, cloud comes in, you know, encompassed. Um, yeah, so pretty much you guys have um, have definitely seen it, and it's almost due south of where you are at Falaki, which is um, obviously up and up there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, she goes. Uh, she indicated the castle, which of course is uh, is there. Um, 
and she's thinking about this white sun bit and she goes uh, a pool you say anything that springs to mind would be Kresik something to do with Kresik for there is a pool of the white well the pool of the white sun I guess that, that is that is it but it's rather it is simply where they draw water I don't know what is magical of that Kresik of course is uh, is to the west would we pass it on our way to the white no so your west so I've inverted um, I think have I I can't remember I think, yeah, I turned the TV around. Mm, so we so the winery would be here. Yes. Which is yep. west. And Kresik is down, no, down, down, down. That way. That oh, way. This way. Yes, there. Out there. Okay, yeah. so it's right. north of the winery, I'm thinking. Okay. Turn the TV Talking about a sword of sunlight with the pool blessed by the light of the white sun. Anything, Anything else? Quick. No. Um, My I'll husband I'll... will be out to serve. Have you husband. heard of any missing children? Rumours abound. Rumours abound. Okay, um, when we first arrived here, we were. I'm just trying to find the name of the person. Mm. It's a bit so long. Do we have the Blinsky doll? Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. There was a child who had this doll. That is a Blinsky doll. Their Blinsky, mother. the toy maker in town. So he might. What kind of toy maker? Would he remember each toy that he sold? I'm unsure, I cannot speak. Blinsky is a strange cat. Can you show us on the map? I can just so that we know where we're going. Yeah, so essentially, she, yeah. Points out direction. We, yeah. we, we could ask her about Morgantha. <laughs> Whether or not it's her. she was a rather unpleasant lady that we met in Barovia. So, I'm not sure if you can see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's Blinsky's. Okay, cool. That's the, that's where you are now, the yeah. water in. Yeah. Where do we meet Morgan through again? That was in Barovia, the first the village. Lady. She was the pie lady. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. So, I was going to say, well, from while we're here and we're asking things, we could ask about her and whether mm. or not. Well, I'll ask, so we, we met an old lady in the town of, or village of Barovia who was selling sweetmeats to the locals and a couple of my colleagues tried them. And we, <gasps> Which ones? This one? This All one. but myself. Uh, Aaron, Aaron, didn't, Aaron didn't have one no. either. I, I didn't. I didn't. Oh, you did. Oh, yeah. Aaron, Aaron. So it was Aaron in Cosborne. And I had one, but I wasn't. I wasn't afflicted. <laughs> so, um, and then, do they need? Uh, do they need more? For if they go without for a couple of days, then uh, they shall have some disadvantage. <laughs> Our friend Cosron seemed impacted, but everyone else seemed. To recover. to recover. Um, some are affected, some are not. Yes. Anyway. The rumours are rife in relation to uh, these treats. Um, Did you, do you know any more of Morgantha? Or shall I tell you what we The found? hags of the windmill. Ah, you do know them then. <laughs> yes. We saw you, are We. I heard you were there. Tell me, how do you know so much about us and about all these matters? Owen, his family has been in Barovia for a long time. We are well connected and we keep our eyes open and our ears. I'm going to show her the letter that the Druid gave us. 
and ask her whether or not she knows anything about it. She takes it. has uh, betrayed a long and deep secret. And you must destroy this. I shall keep it, yes? You recall it? There are words written here that must not be repeated. If you say so. I do. I trust you. Well, Much of what is written here is uh, is true. Do you know who wrote this? I have my suspicions. Well, do you know the gentleman? That and he stands this? up. And at that particular point, Erwin comes out. Danica! 302! And he's got like a plate with like, you know, breakfast. <laughs> and she goes... Darling, darling, yes. And she races over and grabs it. Who's she delivering it to? The There's no like one, one, there one guy in <laughs> other than us. The, 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 the scared <laughs> guy. Bronze, <laughs> bronze 300 a second of the meal. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay, I think we can ask her some more questions another time. All right, we'll call it there. That's uh, yeah. ten past ten. Felt like a productive evening. Yeah. For, yeah. For no combat, but um, <laughs> we're yeah. on a real productive evening. All <laughs> right. Uh, oh, so the uh, the game time is nine thirty nine a.m. of your fourth day. As we close there, um, you are at the Blue Water Inn. Surprisingly, all together, which is a small miracle, and it's even more surprisingly alive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Aaron lived. Um, Just steal another day. Yes. Um, so yeah. So map. Um, I shall just actually nick you just go back in that corner. Um, yeah. No. Thanks, guys. I'll, uh, no, I'll endeavour to be uh, slightly better prepped. I barely noticed. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Oh, well. The sarcasm runs deep in this. Um,